most important thing in gaming is eating, especially Oreos. Let's see who can eat Oreo quicker. One, two, three. Oh my god, I'm Ah, you were like this, you missed like a split second before me. That was awesome. Alright, we're at another swap meet. Another week. Yep. Our video just uploaded last night, the week before. <laughs> I was checking it out, make sure it uploaded correctly. Um, it did rain. It rained pretty good last night. It's still very wet on the floors, so um, it's not too set up where we're at, but um, it should be. Hopefully, you guys can see us. Yeah, yeah it's better. But, but there uh, are vendors. There are vendors. They're setting up, so sweet. Hopefully, we can do this. Hopefully, we can get it all done today. Um, we don't have a lot of time. What are we gonna get? I'm gonna get. Two TurboGrafx 16s. Mm. What about you? A Neo Geo. A Neo Geo. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in a minute with two TurboGrafx and a Neo Geo. <laughs> I just ran across this. I've been looking for this for a long time. I have no idea how much they're going to charge, though. So Jack squat so far. That bla math, uh, math blaster. Now blaster master was five bucks, which I don't want to do that. I could just order it off Amazon or something for that better condition. So we're trying. This is so cool if it wasn't ripped from the top. It's still pretty cool. So is this actually, dude. Four player adapter. Four four player adapter. How much is this? Three bucks. Three bucks? Cool. I'll get that. Nice. Wow. Power player. Look at that Dreamcast knockoff. That's pathetic. What is that? Supposed to be Pit Fighter? Ricky's debating. Three bucks each. What was that Paperboy California game? Yeah. Great data tips. I would go with like the California game that Paperboy couldn't get in. Would you do two for five on these? No. Uh -huh. Three bucks a piece. No more. Yeah, those are good games. Those are good games. Throw it all in. I'll go 10 bucks, all of it. Yeah? Yeah. That sounds pretty cool. I'll do it. Whoa, we're going so fast! Oh, I feel wow. like we're on Star Fox. Ricky. What? You are supposed to get through! What's your favorite Star Fox quote? I just said it, dude. That one's your favorite? Wait. You got a slippy one? Ah! I'm hit! Ah. Uh, I kind of like, Uncle Andrew! I love that one. <laughs> Uh, I want to show me too, because I'm so pretty. Uh, mine is probably... I got one! I got one! God, I hate Slippy. Do you guys hate Slippy? I kind of hate Slippy, but I don't know. I can't take it anymore! I mean, he's so memorable, though. Yeah, true. Slippy does have some good quotes. Peppy's awesome, though. Peppy does have, have a million good quotes. It's hot in my car. It's because the heater's on. Uh, we're going to another Swami, by the way. That one, we barely got any footage, barely got anything. We got a couple cool things. Kind of sucked, kind of stupid, kind of dumb. Dude, congratulations, Chris. I didn't know they made a whole uh, place after you. NES Complex. Bah -ha -ha -ha. Sweet, man. My hand's literally shaking right now. Turtles on time. Man, nice. Awesome. I'm gonna try to not draw attention. Oh my gosh, that was great. 
How much are the games? Uh, each? Can I get a deal if I take a bunch? Okay. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 20, 27. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Can I get all these for 20 minutes? Cool, thank you. Rick, you go ahead and show them the games I got. Alrighty then. I'll be a pain over here. I hate you, Aaron. Try to win time. Mortal Kombat, F Zero, Sin City, Enemy Next, and Micro Machines. Woo, thanks. That's it, guys. We're done. We did it. Short time, but I, we got really uh, very happy at the last place we were at in the short time we were there. So good for us. I'm going home. And um, I don't know if the video is going to be short. If it is, maybe we'll do something. I don't know. We'll figure out something if it's too short. So, um, yeah. All right, guys, so we're at my house right now, um, kind of an impromptu piece of what we're going to do right now. Um, we've got to hold my buddy, Mike. Um, he was in one of the videos before. He has a lot of video games. He's a reseller and a collector, but he told us that he has a lot of games that are kind of like filler games, like a dollar to five dollar games, but nice. yeah, that's cool for us if it's like boxes even or just random cases or you know, filler games Yeah, that we don't have. So he's going to come over in a little bit. Um, We'll probably play some uh, Dreamcast right now while we wait for him. So, uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. Everything in here is from a buck to five dollars. Uh, I pretty much went through everything that I had, just good titles only. I didn't want to throw anything too expensive because I know okay. you guys like the garage sales block prices. So. So before Mike got there, Ricky and I had to coach each other on not going too crazy with the box Mike was about to bring over. But when he got there, we couldn't control ourselves. Digging through all these boxes, we saw so many good games that we couldn't resist. Yeah, we both bought like 30 to 40 games each. Holy crap. <laughs> we just got a lot of stuff. A lot. And for a really good price. <laughs> We're pretty excited. I'm afraid of the pickup video because it's going to be long. It's yes. coming up right now. If you guys don't like the, the pickup video part, then skip this because it's going to be long. We got a lot of stuff. We're excited. See you then. If I could, I'd slap break. Everybody! Yay! Hello. Okay, guys, we have a lot of stuff again. I know you guys tell us all the time we don't need to rush and don't need to feel like we're rushing, but you guys, we honestly probably have close to 50 games each to show, so we kind of have to go a little fast. We're not going to talk about the games too much. Um, I did want to yep. say thank you to my sister-in-law who made me this. Ooh. Us, this. This awesome Mario hand-knitted. I don't know if the camera's going to autofocus this or not or what, but, um, she handmade this. It is pretty awesome. I'm going to put like her email in the description below or something. She just started doing them. She's like, yeah, you can throw it out there if somebody wants them. So if you want it, we're going to keep it. We'll probably have it sitting back there. Oh, also, I want to say thank you to the, uh, a channel called the 16-Bit Brothers. I no don't know if you guys have noticed, but we have like little animations of our heads lately in a lot of the videos doing <laughs> yeah. stupid things. But um, they made those for us. I know it's just like a website they used to do it, but that was cool of them just to make it for yeah. us. Thanks, guys. I didn't know what how to do or anything, so I, now that we have them, we're able to use them a lot. So check them out. They're like a Let's Play channel. They're really funny guys, very involved in the community. So the 16-Bit Brothers, I'll put the link in the description below. We're talking fast again. I'm 35, I'm better than 40, but $40, 35, better than 40. I'm... Ooh, go ahead. I almost just slapped you, but I'm going to try not to because everyone says I'm being too mean. So <laughs> go ahead, Ricky. Ricky Ricardo. All right, so my first thing I'll pull out is this uh, Ultra Racer controller for the PS1. I've never seen it, so I decided to get it. Yeah, two bucks. Cool. So, Swami, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Fun. Star Wars Episode 1 Racers. Fun. Jeremy Mc... McGrath, right? Supercross. WCW NW's Revenge. NWO Revenge. That's oh, a fun man. game. That is fun. That is fun. Showtime. That's fun, too. Hang fun. time. Wait, not showtime. Wait, showtime. showtime. Never mind. It's not hang time. It's fun. showtime. 1080. It's not as great as I remember it, but yeah, no. man. Of course, GoldenEye. NBA Courtside. Just random fillers. And then I'll start off with... Uh, I got Quake. I think it's just the first one. Quake. Uh, Quake 2. <laughs> we live in California. There's a lot of Quakes around here. Oh. And there's a lot of Rush, too. 
rush. That's a good game. I love all the rushes. They are pretty good. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Bomberman. Hero. Hero. Oh. Bomberman yes. Hero. I'm sorry. Bust a move 99. That was actually pretty cool. I was so glad I got Bust a move. <laughs> Alright, and Body Harvest. We just put it in just now, like five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. We were playing most of these before we did this, but <laughs> sorry for rushing again, guys. We just got to get through these. All right, I got another Super Game Boy. Only a buck. Honestly, how could I pass that up? Yeah. Pilot Wings. Awesome. Yes, it is. Jurassic Park. I love Jurassic Park. The movie, everything about all the Jurassic Parks. I don't care how much crap they got. <laughs> I love everything Jurassic Park related. <laughs> Wario's Woods. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's a great game. Zoop. Zoop! Zoop! And then Kirby's Avalanche. Awesome, dude. You scored on that. Good deal. Yeah, that was a good deal. Very happy for you on that. I'll good probably deal. try to steal it from you. It's okay. I'll steal a couple from you. That's good. And then for the NES, Chris, it's Crystallis. Right? Yeah, Crystallis. By SNK. Looked pretty cool, so I couldn't go wrong with that. Yeah. This one I was pretty excited. Bomberman. Looks good. It's okay. nice and clean. Aaron always talks about this game, so I had to get it. Capcom game, Darkwing Duck, amazing game, fun <laughs> game. Honestly, if you guys haven't tried Darkwing Ducks, it's a must get, must try. Two uh, Star Wars. Two Star Wars. Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Pretty awesome. I don't know if they're that much fun. Actually, they're not really, but they're, we don't see them too much out there, so it's yeah, kind of Yeah, you don't see them, so. Cool. You got something. Right? And another wave bird. Ricky's been getting a lot of wave birds. He got that for a buck, thanks to our buddy. Okay, I'm gonna go fast. Like I said, guys, sorry, we have so much. I don't even know what this one is called. Radical Psycho Machine Racing. Ooh. Never played it. Uh, amazing Street Fighter Alpha 2. Animaniacs, which I do enjoy. Mortal Kombat, which we all know is awesome. F Zero, which is pretty fun. Here, it's still pretty this. fun. Uh, Micro Machines. When I got it, I didn't know it was like 20 bucks. So Ricky just dropped his wave bird, and there's a piece missing off the L button. It's okay. Uh, Micro Machines. It wasn't that fun, but I got it a good deal. Oh man, you guys. Turtles in Time. I was freaking out when I got this because I've been looking for this for a long time and when we got it and the guy told us I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I was so worried that the guy would know what he had. But, yeah. Yeah, he had no idea. Sim City, Pretty cool. Uh, if you guys like these type of games. I do. Tiny Toons, Buster Bust, Looch. With Looch. 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 Shut up. No, I like that game a lot. Okay. Dude, I don't even know where to start. I'm just going fast, you guys. I'm sorry. Here we go. Win back. Complete in box. Pretty cool. Yeah, uh, we tried it. It's we just played it. Fun. Uh, Nintendo 64 expansion pack. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. It's not a good Pretty game. funky. This, I hear good things about. Alien Hominid. I don't even know if that's how you say it. It's completely sealed. Um, it's four players. I hear it's kind of like the same engine as um, Metal Slug. So, if, as you guys know, Metal Slug is freaking amazing. amazing. I yeah. love Metal Slug. I'm like, I like don't want to open it because it's sealed, but I will because I've been hearing so much good things about it. Don't you dare. Okay, I'm going to blaze through these two, you guys. Uh, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness. Nice. Uh, Mega Man X, Command Mission. Awesome. Good. Metal Gear Solid 3. Awesome. The Godfather of the game. Uh, Quake 3. We got a lot of I different like Quakes, Quakes today. Uh, Siberia. Never played it. Never tried it. Don't know a thing about it. So if it's awesome, let me know. Uh, Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. I haven't played this one, but I did like uh, the other Super Monkey Ball. Uh, obscure the aftermath. Don't know anything about this either, you guys. If, sorry if it's awesome. Uh, judging by the back, it looks pretty cool. Um, it looks like Silent Hillish, you know, dark. I really do like survival horrors if that's what it is. And Jack 2, which this is awesome. I do know that. Um, Metal Gear Solid 2. We all know this is awesome. Good old Snake. Um, I got two cases. He actually gave them to me for free. Breath of Fire 2 and Mario Tennis for the 64. This one's Super Nintendo. Thank you for holding all that, Ricky. No problem. All right, we're coming down the wire, guys. Tetris 2, Samurai Showdown, which I do enjoy. I know that it's is not a fun game. That great, I gotta admit. a lot of people don't like it, but we do. Nice. That's because we're samurais. And speaking of that, on the NES, you guys, The Immortal, pretty cool. That's uh, awesome. Fox Anadu, pretty cool. Uh, not that many people like it. Uh, Star Tropics and Star Tropics 2, Zoda's Revenge. I like the box art right, on this. The art is it's awesome. Pretty, it reminds me of Dark Star, if any of you guys skateboard or know what the Dark Star logo looks like. Um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which you guys all know is regarded as one of the best games ever. Yeah. Angry Video Game Nerd loves this. No, I'm just kidding. You guys know. This game sucks. <laughs> um, but I needed to get it for the fact that everybody wants to get it just because of the whole AVGN thing. It's awesome. Uh, Time Lord. I haven't played it in a long time. I don't remember too much about it. I did play it 
uh, a while back. I know when I was a kid I had it, so we'll see. I don't remember. Um, it's by Milton Bradley. <laughs> so, Iggy's Wrecking Balls. I don't Ooh. see this out too much in the wild, but we put it in. And um, go figure, it's like made by iguana, and that's why it's like Iggy's. But it seemed pretty <laughs> cool. Ricky was having fun playing with balls. As usual. Blast Corpse, which I do love. Um, I love it a lot. It's one of my favorite games on the 64. A lot of uh, destruction. Mickey Speedway USA, which I really like. A lot of people uh, didn't talk about it too much. I hear more about it recently. And uh, yeah, it's a good game. I would pick it up if you guys haven't tried it. Tetris Fear, not really my favorite. I would honestly prefer a regular Tetris um, as opposed to it, but cool to have. Okay, that's it. So, we're gonna do this video, and then I think our next video, guys, instead of um, our River Pursuit video, since we heard good things about you guys, we're gonna do a Faceless Games episode. Because I do have, I don't know if this is in the screen, a Genesis game back here I got last week. I got a Super Nintendo one this week, and two Game Boy Advance ones. So we have four now, so I think we can do a full episode of Faceless Games. Yeah, boy! So we're excited about that. That'll be fun. Soon, we'll be building our room. We'll show you guys some updates on that. Um, and we'll be far away from where any noise can be or anything. So we'll be able to film at our own will. Cartridge slap. Oh, I deserve that. Whatever. <laughs> Cartridge slap. OK. Cartridge slap. Um, I did want to say, you guys, though, thank you again for everything. Um, everything you guys do. Thanks, All the yeah. comments, the likes have been going crazy lately. I love it. Um, the comments are awesome. Um, the subscribers, the subscriptions have been doing well. I'm very thankful, you guys. T H A N K Y O U. Thank you. Check us out on Gamester81.com. Like I said, um, the Facebook that we made, a lot of you guys did come to. It was really cool to see you guys come over to that. If you guys didn't, please join. It's cool. It's a lot uh, yeah. easier for me to connect with you guys sometimes, like while I'm at work and stuff, because I don't. I'm not really supposed to go on YouTube too much while I'm at work. That's it. I don't know. Um, Bam! Nah. <laughs> All we need is the uh, uh, uh. Okay. Take both two for twelve. 
Did you go five on the uh, nightshade or? Oh, it's only a piece of it. Uh, oh. Yeah. That's picking right there. That's picking. Ready to rumble, self park. Star Wars, Star Wars, we just got a couple of those. Oh, they have them priced. Dang it. Yeah, these are all priced. Like 25 bucks for Pokemon Snap. That's BS. This is a great game, but I'm not paying 20 bucks for a loose copy of it. So I wasn't showing it here, but honestly inside I was getting pretty frustrated. I couldn't find anybody that worked at this place. Faceless game. Nothing on it. You work here? Oh, no. Oh, there's not even a game in here. So I literally asked 13 people total. At least when I found the guy who was willing to work with me. Fifteen, sweet, thank you. This is good game. This is a oh good. Was it good? Oh, this yeah. one is cool. Good. Ninja Titan, Etana. Oh, eight dollars. Thank you. This is a good game. Yeah. I have it. You? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now you tell me. Uh, we just got here, we might have to search around. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good game. I know, I was like, dude, Operation Contra. We might have to search around good. for a little while first. Yeah. We just got here, so we better get yeah. that, Chris. Listen to that Game Boy music. Get close <laughs> to that. That's beautiful. There's some more over here, too. Okay, cool, thank you. This is Gunstar Superheroes. Ricky, how's it going so far? Not too bad. It's actually pretty cool. Nice. Cameraman Chris, he's off duty right now. How's he's it going? Find anything today? For myself? Yeah. No. No luck yet. Someone said he looks like Robin Williams in the comments. <laughs> Patch Adams right no. there. How about that Nintendo box over there? Uh, I don't know, Mike. Oh, okay. Is the system in there or is it just the box? No, it's in the box. Only, only the box. I'd buy just the box if he wants to sell it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have the price now. Oh, okay. So it's really rough when you see a lot of games that you want that the resellers are selling them for way overpriced, but it's tempting when you don't see the games ever. Yeah. But then again, we are pickers, so that's... That's the way the pursuit plays out. That's just the way game chasing go. <laughs> so our cameraman Chris has been calling me a nerd and a geek all day. And we walk by Pokemon cards. And he true. starts running to him like a little girl all excited going, Ooh, Pokemon, Pokemon! It's not. Anytime I see electronics, I know I need to search. So how was it with that guy that sold us Final Fantasy? What was it, 12? Yeah. And then took it back? It was messed up. After giving him your freaking dollar? <laughs> and then he pulled it out and said, Oh no, this doesn't count. That was dumb. Wait, what game is that? Yeah, what game is that? Wow, I think I just got that on camera too. We literally <laughs> almost just railed oh, a police office. <laughs> we were trying to find a Goodwill. So oh my gosh. Alright, the Goodwill's over there. Don't hit him, he's over there again. We all know Goodwills aren't like they used to be with games. They price everything out pretty high nowadays. But hey, at least I found a pretty interesting book. Mom, I feel fat. <laughs> <laughs> How sad. Dude, that Street Fighter Alpha is mine. You know what he, Aaron did? You want to know what he did? I told him already, though. No. Street Fighter Alpha was right there. I was about to reach for it. 
And then as Aaron sees me reaching for it, he goes, No, I, 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 I literally I see Ricky reaching in for Street Fighter Alpha, and I lit. Oh my god, there's a bee in the car! Ah! I literally. <laughs> I literally smack his hand out of Street Fighter Alpha 2 and say, film! Film! Because Ricky has problems filming. So I just needed to get it on film. Sure. <laughs> but that's why we have Chris here now. Hey, and I also gave him Micro Machines. Nice enough to pick. Dude, he would have had Ad Maniacs, Micro Machines. You didn't see Turtles in Time, though. I didn't want Turtles in Time. I mean, yeah, I did. you did. You liar! I did, but I wasn't. I didn't see it at the time. Yeah, that's true. You can see it at the Turtles in Time. Yeah, so I don't know. Sorry. I guess I apologize, but... Oh, shoot. I don't know. Where are we? I was supposed to go left. Let's go to Goodwill now. I'm so cold, dude. Are you cold? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're at Goodwill, guys. Trying out one more on the way home. We were almost done for the day, but... One more shot. We need some more games. We can never have too many games. Not so bad for a Goodwill. We found a couple PlayStation games, a couple Genesis games, even Patch Adams over here found some Pokemon cards. So, are you gonna come work on the shed, or should I call Andy to help me? Or? Well, I'll come. Of course. The first thing we should probably do. Oh, well, my phone. Super Metroid. The first thing we should probably do is um, insulation. I think. That that spray stuff. Well, the foam, we could do that then, like, actual insulation, and then we should probably do plywood next, after that. The only thing I'm concerned about is the ground and the... We can get the ground covered up, I think, pretty good, if we put maybe platforms up and then wood over it, but we should be able to. What I wanted to show you guys is we're going to build a game room completely from scratch. Um, this is what it's going to be in. As you can see, the doors don't work, the doors are warped. Ivy around the whole place. I'll show you guys the inside. It might be too dark. There's no electricity yet. We're gonna hook it up with uh, Romax and stuff out here. So is that those? Is that the fake Rolex? Yeah. <laughs> you might not even be able to see it in here because it's dark. But um, as you can see, if you can, can they see it all? Uh, yeah. Okay. I just had to get out of the sun. So uh, as you can see, we have to insulate all this. Cut down this ivy coming in. We have to stop the ivy from coming in by sealing these slats. Um, you guys don't need to hear me go on and on. This isn't a home improvement show. Holy floor. Is this... Are we starting a home improvement show? Yes. guys um how are you um episode 12 we're on now already yeah that's weird we don't normally say what episode but i don't know <laughs> it was just weird to me that we're at episode 12 <laughs> um we had a good week it was fun we had our camera guy uh, chris come with us he's gonna try to film a lot for us so hopefully good old patch adams is what we're gonna call him so poor guy patches he hates it um but yeah we're gonna, he's gonna say he's gonna try to come a lot so that'll be cool um but nice for pickups we didn't get too much but ricky you can uh, start out as usual cool the, I know they're hiding behind us. Probably not gonna yet. Yeah, sorry guys. All right, start off with uh, Genesis Midnight Resistance. That game was awesome. It was pretty fun. We I gotta had admit, no idea what it was, and we put it in, and it's a lot like Contra Hardcore. The only thing downfall is I think it's one of those shooters where, um, not a shooter, not a shoot 'em up, but um, like, like a Contra type game. But you yeah. have to press a button in order to change the direction of where you're shooting. But it was awesome. It looked cool though. It was. I really enjoyed it. And then NES, I got Amagon. Yeah. That was pretty fun. I gotta admit, I, I liked, liked it. it. Me too. It was very kiddish, as I say a lot when I use yeah. that type of terms. But fun kiddish game. It kind of reminds me of the last game, but like a bit. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty much what it is. And of course, I finally got Ducktales. Amazing. Fun and game. If you guys haven't played Ducktales, there's maybe people out there who haven't. It is one of the best games on the NES. Um, Who doesn't like Uncle Scrooge on a little? Yeah, game? and the moon theme. If you guys don't know that song, it is known as by a lot of people as one of the best uh, songs compilations in the entire NES library. So, 
It is pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. And then I got Mortal Kombat 2 for Genesis. Who doesn't like Mortal Kombat? We all need the blood, so it's good that you got it on Genesis. Hey, dumb dude. I think uh, Mortal Kombat's pretty much what started the whole like ratings for video games. So Probably. I think it was. I really, I really do think it was. So. One of the most vicious games is called Mortal Kombat. Fight. The objective is to finish off your opponent violently. Another method is decapitation. Critics, including the National PTA, say such video games contribute to violence in real life. And then last, I just got a PlayStation 2 remote. Sealed. Yeah. <laughs> two bucks, I didn't care. Yeah, cool. two bucks to open. It's not like it's worth a million dollars, but for two bucks. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if I edit that out. Kamehameha! First thing I got is a game called Medieval. Um, I have not played it. I've heard good things about it. Um, the back looks a lot to me like Nightmare Before Ooh. Christmas. So um, it looks very fun to me. I'm pretty excited to try this actually. Um, Cyborg Justice for the Genesis, which seemed promising when we first put it in because you could like choose your head, your armor, and your legs and stuff, but the game wasn't too good that much after. It wasn't too bad, but it was okay. It was alright. Um, amazing game, Rocket Knight Adventures. It is very fun. If you guys haven't tried this, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a very good it's fun. game. Oh yeah! Um, Steel Empire, a shoot 'em up that we knew nothing about when we bought, and it was amazing. We don't even remember who bought it. I can't remember if it was Aaron or me. Yeah, I don't know. Um, whatever. <laughs> we don't care. We'll, we'll play it together. Um, it was amazing. Yeah, really good shoot 'em up, you guys. Um, this we did not try, and I don't know anything about. Uh, Super Thunderblade. Um, judging by the cover, it might be a shoot 'em up. I don't know if it's like Tiger Heli or whatnot, but um, I don't know. We got to try it out. Let us know if it's good. Leave a comment. Um, Croon Dogs, the Beach Surfer, dude. I have. Um, played this before when I was younger, and I don't remember liking it very much, but I think I got it for like buck fifty, maybe two bucks, so I picked it up. Um, Lethal Enforcers, which um, I used to play on the arcades a lot, never played it on the Genesis, so I'm kind of excited for that. Nice. Um, the Little Mermaid. Um, I do like these. I liked it on the NES also, and um, I have played this before, and I, I enjoy the game. It's pretty fun on the NES. I didn't yeah. realize it. Ariel's cute. Um, that's weird. Um, Nightshade for the NES. Very cool game. Um, I wouldn't call it fun, but a cool game, a different type of game. It's very, um, dark and cluish. It's like a point-and-click mixed with, uh, I don't know, side-scrolling? I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's fun. It's different. I don't that know. okay. Come on, Ricky. I don't know. <laughs> and my favorite thing that I got, you guys, um, Mischief Makers. It's like a puzzle platformer, I guess you could say. It's very fun. I think it was, uh, I don't know if it was underrated at the time, but I know a lot of people love it now. So um, I very much enjoyed this. So, yeah. Nice. That's the last thing we got, um, except for the, uh, we showed it earlier, but Ricky did get his TurboGrafx-16, which we left over there. But as we showed, so whatever, Ricky. He doesn't, I guess he doesn't need me. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's it, you guys. We didn't get too much. Um, you know, we're working on our shed a lot, as you guys saw, the game room. Yeah. I want to call it the retro room, hopefully. But uh, we've been working on it a lot lately, and it's costing a lot of money, so that's why we didn't pick up too much stuff also. Do not forget, you guys, to like us on Facebook. Um, check us out on GameStreet81.com. Also, um, leave comments. Keep liking the videos. Um, also, subscribe. Make sure you do that. And, um, also, that's it. Oh, sorry. I just got <laughs> backhanded. And I, like, bit your knuckle. I can, like, taste a piece of it. <laughs> that's disgusting. Well, that's it, you guys. Um, hope you guys have a good day, and, uh, we'll see you guys next time. something like look like we're almost like stupid ready perfect yes <laughs>
I heard he got some more stuff without telling me. I got some business to take care of. Oh, Ricky. I have something for you. Are you in there? What have I done? How could I do this to my best friend? He's my best friend in the world. He does have a lot of video games. And I would probably be in the will for him. All right, this is great. Good morning, guys. It's um, Saturday morning and it is not our normal time. Um, the swap meet was soaking wet. We all woke up at like 6 a.m. and texted each other because it was pouring rain and said, forget it. So we're going to try some Goodwills. Um, same when we were at a couple weeks ago. So hopefully they got some new stuff. We're like the first people here. So Sweet. we'll see. Yeah. You guys excited? Everybody? Yeah. yeah. That's not that bad. Dreamcast, even though I have one, it's like one of the best underrated systems. VHS playback. Yes. <laughs> well, not bad so far. At least they have some game stuff. What? Oh, it does have it. Oh, yay! Did I just sound like a man? Oh, yay! Oh, it will go to. Nice. Alright, see, the trick, I guess, is to come early. I guess so. Dude, dude this is great. Morning. Happy good morning to me. We go to this Goodwill a lot and film here a lot, but today, we got told no more. Excuse me. Good. <laughs> Goodwill myth debunked right there. Okay, so the whole Goodwill thing about how Goodwill sucks now, um, we kind of believe that a little bit here and there, but until not today. We were the first people in there. Holy crap. We'll show you guys later. I picked up about 15 games. Ricky picked up a system, quite a few games, Nintendo booklets. And we scored on the price um, by talking to this really nice lady. So we're super excited. We'll show you guys that later. We're going to go eat. Sure you were. I don't want to spend, you to spend too much money on all your games. I was going to get Moonwalker. Sega Genesis. We? The way we scored just now, Goodwill is something it doesn't even happen much at the swap meet getting like a box given to you of Genesis games and looking at it and complete games and not basic titles all good games all pretty expensive games yeah the stuff Ricky got the Dreamcast with controllers with BMUs with everything for like six dollars and stuff like that so we can't stop smiling we're celebrating with a sour Joe Joe Jeff I got tacos Ricky got tacos because it's Mexican it's true all right, so while we're at lunch, we're doing a little looking on Craigslist for some video games. Ricky just found Castlevania Dracula X. Let's see if we can get a good deal on this one. He just, he, yeah, he wanted like 400 for everything. I was like, oh, oh. what? Oh. For what? Super Famicom. Konnichiwa, konnichiwa, Mario no Kunikara. Super Nintendo, Dracula, uh, Dracula, Castlevania, Dracula X, Turtles in Time, uh, Zelda, uh, Link to the Past, 
I think he had Mario All Stars. Did he say for just the games? No, he's like, uh, I gotta text you about the games. He's like, I'm, he's like, I'm looking to look for 400. I'm like, but he's like, eh, just. He's like, I don't care. Shoot me an offer. I was like, I'm not. Yeah, you're you're gonna get a, a fifty dollar offer from me or a hundred dollar offer, <laughs> not but anything close to what you're thinking. That's the whole point. Yeah. Yeah. You pay retail. Uh huh. It's pointless. Oh, oh sorry guys. No Dracula axe. That would've been sweet though. All right, guys. So right now we're at the Santa Ana Goodwill. It's supposedly really big. It's got its own electronics section. Let's see what we'll find. Yeah. Let's go. That's pretty cool. It's just NBA Jam, but it's cool for Sega CD. And that is literally all we found at that Goodwill. Alright, so one more place before we go home today. Uh, Games for Less. Um, they're going out of business. Um, oh, I, don't, deal. I don't think they'll care if we film since they're going out of business. So everything's 50 to 30% off. So Let's see. Dude, these are all at the Golden West swap meet like this. Yeah, they are. <laughs> all the sealed and sinks and Pam Anderson games. Those are rare. It's gonna... it's gonna be me. This is a really good game. Which one? Rolling Thunder. Ah. This is a lot like um Codename Viper. But I hear for a lot of people it's more fun. Two, Godzilla. It's a good game. Super Blood Ball. Destination Earth Star. It's like a shooter. Dude, these are like the ones I don't have. Yeah. Let's see how much is bumping job. Good condition. Yeah. Godzilla? That's fun. Yeah, this game's terrible, but if you don't have it, then that's fun. I want to get fun games. Fun games? Fun games. Well, step right up. Ricky and I were very thankful and excited to be getting such good deals at this place, but at the same time, it's really sad when you see a cool retro video gaming store close down and go out of business. Last time on the NES Pursuit. Hey guys, um, we are working on our game room again today. I am not with Ricky, he is working. I'm with my good buddy Andy right here. I swear, every time I record my phone goes off. Um, yeah, we're going to work on the gamer right now, and we're at Home Depot, just a little update, and uh, I'm a little short on money, but we'll see how I do, so see you guys in a minute. Ah, the shed is coming together quite nicely. If you guys want any tips or advice on how to do this in your own room, please, for the love of mercy, don't do what we're doing. What am I doing? I have a little word of advice for you guys. If you guys are ever putting drywall up on the ceiling, make sure you have some extra screws or an extra screw gun somewhere where you can reach them. Mother <laughs> <laughs> okay, Aaron, come over. Come 
Okay, I'm done showing this. I'm just embarrassing myself. Hey, you guys. Aaron and, and Ricky, Ricky here. Um, first of all, we just wanted to say uh, thanks to everybody for all the support. We just uh, keep checking our face. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Yeah, our YouTube. And every time we check, we're pretty excited on you guys. There's some really cool people out there. Also, in this episode, we debunked the myth of the bad Goodwills because... That is true. It was a wild morning. As you guys saw, they made us turn off the camera so we couldn't show the games we got and stuff too much. I think we mentioned a few of them while we're eating and stuff, but we get to show them to you guys actually now, so... Yeah. It's going to be cool. As usual, Ricardo, feel free to... Um, Ricky Ricardo. Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> Run to start us out, Ricky. All right, I'll start off with the Goodwill stuff. First thing is... We got a backup Dreamcast with the black controller because I really wanted it. it. Comes with all the memory cards and everything, the VMU and all that. So that's oh, cool. It was awesome. awesome. All right, so I got Last Battle, which is great. Awesome. Sonic, and then they threw in these for free. A bunch of just random yeah, NES that's cool. like, little pamphlets, little Tech Mobile booklet and stuff. So that's cool. NBA Jam for the Sega CD. I don't have one yet, but when I do, I'll have a game for it. Yeah, we don't have a Sega CD, which we want one, even though we know it's not that great, but we just want one to have one. Just to have one. Pretend it's a game. Challenge set. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. That's awesome. It was awesome. Honestly, just to have something from there was pretty cool. That's really cool, actually. They threw this in for free. I didn't have it, so as you guys know, I got the mouse. Yeah, the mouse pad for Super Mario Paint. And then I got, I know I got this one already, but this is the original one, Golden Axe. He did have the Sega Classic box before, but I, I wanted the, this one. The better box. <laughs> uh, dance Aerobics. Yeah, for dan the NES. that game sucks. Dance Aerobics. It's terrible. <laughs> it's just to have it. It was a buck. World Class Track Meet. That's buck. not bad. Everyone cheated with that game. Yeah. You know, we all got on the floor and like pounded the <laughs> feet power pad. No. Yeah. Shut up, you cheated. Uh, Godzilla. No, I did not get it for that price. It was actually way cheaper. Godzilla! Run! It's Godzilla! Destination Earth Star. Is that Earth Star? Yeah. I have played that. It's pretty fun. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's, yeah. it's cool. We're like NES fanboys, as you guys noticed. So, I mean, anytime yeah. it's an NES game, we normally say it's pretty good regardless because... We can't say bad things about them. Yeah. Defender 2. It was... It was good. It wasn't... It was okay. Let's just say it was okay. It was great. Great. The greatest game ever. I got a Game Boy Advance game, which is actually pretty fun. Final Fight One. If you have, if you like Final Fight, it's pretty good. I, I would admit. say that was honestly amazing. I haven't played it before. I just played it at Ricky's house, and I thought it was awesome. It's just like the Super Nintendo. One. It's it's the great. graphics, the, the everything. sound, everything is pretty impressive for the Game Boy Advance. Then I got Lagoon. Five bucks. Boxed. Complete. Complete. In box. Which neither of us have played it yet. No. But there was a price tag on for 30 bucks, and like we said, they're going out of business, so he said, hey, take it for five bucks. So he said, sweet. <laughs> I don't have a Famicom, but I have the converter for the Famicom to play NES games on it. Yeah, that's cool, man. It was three we don't bucks. have a Famicom. So if you have one, just get send it to us. I think that guy, <laughs> uh, Kid Sure You Can, has one. Send us one. <laughs> now. Just kidding. Okay, my turn. Um, this was at the same place, Games for Less. Uh, Fester's Quest manual. The guy gave it to me. I asked him much. He said, take it. I said... Because we bought stuff. Yeah. Uh, Page Master, complete in box for Genesis, which I haven't played. Um, it's one player. I do know that. And um, I'm excited to play it. Yeah, it's sealed. So it's okay. Yeah, it's... Well, the bottom's kind of cut, but whatever. Sealed. This is factory sealed, 100%. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein for the Super Nintendo. And I have played this before. Obviously not this one. But um, I've played this for and I really do enjoy it. I don't know if a lot of people do or not. I don't listen to reviews on it, but I really enjoyed it. I like dark games a lot. Okay, now here's why I debunked the whole Goodwill myth of Goodwill being bad. Um, I don't know how much time we have, but I don't care. Um, we went there and they told us not to film. And then when we went to the front, the lady was actually really nice that checked us out and asked us what we do and we told her we game, we have YouTube and stuff. And she said, Someone just brought a box over of, you know, Genesis games. Check them out. So I checked them out, and um, here's what was in them, most of them. Um, the first five I will show you weren't in that box, but um, Star Wars... Star Wars? Star Wars! Star Wars! Star Wars Rebel Assault 2. 
It's the greatest hits, but whatever. Um, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoons. I love this. I love the the style, too, of the graphics on it. Crazy Taxi. Everybody loves Crazy Taxi. Yeah. Everybody. Um, Silent Hill 2, one of my favorite games of all time. One of my favorite. I, didn't I love that favorite. music, though. That is epic. S Silent Hill, to me, is, is really big to me. I don't know if you guys know that, but it's, it's one of my favorite things. Actually, this guy got me into it. So. Yeah. Um, awesome. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Um, all these were a buck 99, and I don't know if you guys know, I was very hard into skateboarding for like 10 years of my life. It was literally my life. And when I wasn't skateboarding, I was playing these games. So, um, now here's what I got in the box um, from the lady. It was labeled like 60 bucks for the whole box, and there was like two games in there I didn't want, so the manager came over and said, you can have them for like two bucks each, and they're all complete in box. This is the only one I haven't played of all of them. Mick and Mac Global Gladiators. Um, I'm guessing it's like a... What do you call it? Like, planet, environmental thing. So It's Captain Planet. It's Captain Planet, <laughs> but with Mick and Mac, the little kids. Yeah, those kids are pretty lame, actually, on the cover. Um, Kid Chameleon, which I do like. I know it's a little frustrating. If you guys want to see a good review on it, check out a Retrospective Perspective. He did a full review on this, a really good one. That's the other thing that makes this game so challenging, is just the sheer length. There's all kinds of secret ways to make it through, but you never know how far along you actually are. General Chaos, I haven't played for a long time. I did when I was younger. Um, I liked it, actually. It's uh, not usually my type of game, but I liked it. I think there's like no way to... Or, I don't know, I might be wrong. I think when I was a kid, I don't remember beating him. I think it like kept restarting or something. What, so. like Ghosts and Goblins? Oh, God. <laughs> not that brutal. Uh, check this out, guys. Mutant League Football, complete in box, 100%. This is awesome, you guys. Two bucks for something like this is insane, as most it's of you guys cool. know who plays. Yeah. yeah. Um, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, you guys. Complete in <laughs> box. Two dollars. Come on, give me a break. At a Goodwill. Um, this is really fun. I think it's... I don't know if it's underrated, but I don't hear too much about it. Somewhere he dances in the middle of nowhere, right? Yeah, you can literally call on a power move. When all, no matter who's fighting you, they stop and have to dance. So. I do remember that game. That's how it is, though, with real Michael Jackson songs. If you think about it, if you hear one, you kind of have to dance. <laughs> even if you don't want to. Um, Altered Beast, classic as we saw in the Faceless Games. <laughs> this is like their third me one. Me and Ricky were like overexcited to play this. So, yeah. Um, Streets of Rage, um, very awesome. Love this game. I know Sega fans have like a cult following for these type of games, you know, yeah. as opposed to the Super Nintendo Final Fight people. So, but I, I enjoy both. It's I, fun. They're both fun. I honestly. love this. And the one I like even better than Streets of Rage, my last thing is Streets of Rage 2. <laughs> So, um, very fun. Uh, yeah, if you guys haven't played them, that's interesting they haven't played them, because yeah. I think everybody has. Something else, you guys, make sure, as always I say, go on Facebook, like us. The links are in the description below. If you guys don't see them, click on the show more, and they'll be down there. Um, GameStraight1.com, you guys. Um, like the videos. It helps. The support um, means a lot to us. Yeah. Comment on the videos. Tell us anything. Ask us anything. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I answer to every single person that comments. Every. <laughs> Sometimes I don't check it per day, and there's like 150 new comments, and I answer to them. He does. Because I love you guys. It's the whole reason we do it, you guys, to be a part of the community. It, to me, some people are like, oh my gosh, that's a big deal. You guys are commenting back to all of them. But to me, that's the whole reason we're doing this show. I don't it's know. actually cool that people comment back. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I know any other reason why we do this. So share it with your friends, too, you guys. If you have friends that are gamers, retro gamers, new gen gamers, tell them about us. Post it on your Facebook or something. That'd be really cool. It'd mean a lot to us. And if you have not subscribed do it because we do put out new videos every, every single week. week and if for some reason i want to make sure i say this if for some reason it's like raining a weekend or we're super low on money because we go so much uh. we'll do something different you know whether it's us playing a stupid game um we kind of want to start doing some top 10 lists you know top 10 nes yeah. games super nintendo games best shoot 'em ups whatever in case we can't make it to the spot meet that weekend so it's a very active channel so join us or die <laughs> you won't <laughs> die but that's it for now you know what I'm not going to slap you. It's a handshake this time. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs>
Go. Okay, you're making the pillow bounce too much. You can totally see it. Alright, I'll leave this hidden couch. Alright. Ricky! Yeah. Do you know what day today is? Super Bowl Sunday. And what better way to start it off than by playing some Tech Mobile? game dude awesome game. that was fun but now it's time to celebrate what super bowl sunday is really all about what going shopping at goodwill for video games Ooh. hey girls we're uh, all done playing tech mobile you guys can use the tv now if i'm watching the game all right Bye. Bye. It's now almost Ricky's birthday, so Chris and I decided to go out and meet with my buddy Mike, the reseller that you guys know, to pick up some games for Ricky. We actually get a couple good games. Chris gets a Mega Man 6, and I get him a reproduction cart of a game called Hammer and Harry, which was never released in North America. We hope Ricky likes them. Alright, we're back at my house, and I'm really excited at what we just got for Ricky, so I just want to show you guys real quick up close. Come check these out, Chris. These are the two carts we picked up. For Ricky, hopefully you guys can see them pretty good in there. They're in mint condition. Look at this, he even left a little uh, happy birthday Ricky right now. Oh, that's so nice. All right, well me and Chris are gonna hang out for a couple minutes, probably play uh, some Double Dragon right now. So, uh, talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright, it is 6.30 and Ricky just got to my house and he clearly read my text wrong. I told him to meet here at 6.10 and pick up Chris at 6.30. You're late. What do you have to say for yourself? Sorry, man. That's the way the pursuit plays out. Oh, God. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are at Cypress College today. Um, we're excited. It was just Ricky's birthday like a day ago or two days ago, so happy birthday to Ricky. We have some gifts to give him later. And, um, yeah, let's see how it goes. We're excited. Yay! These things are cool, though. Do you remember the creepy crawler commercials? Dude. Crawlers! How much is that? $3? Grand Turismo 2. This is a pretty fun racing game back in the day. Wait, how are you happen. holding that up? Is that how it, it, it stays? It's supposed to do that. It comes with a little thing. It's good so side when I was a kid. Oh, that's it's pretty like awesome. It's like a McDonald's toy. Wow. Wayne's World. WrestleMania, which I have out of those. I don't know if this is the real price. I really hope it's not $10. You have RoboCop? How much are the games? Uh, games. Four? What about for the uh, NES ones? What the fuck are you doing for us? Three bucks each okay, instead. What? what the? 25? Alright, that's a good game. That's a fun game. I got it. I, I like you it. have it? Ooh. Mickey Mouse. I might go for this one. I used to have it as a kid. Watch the game. Atari 
2600 with some controllers, a couple of paddles. How much for the uh, Atari? How much? 45. 45 with paddles and everything. Do you have the power plug? You don't have, do you have paddles? I have oh, paddles. You just have paddles, huh? Yeah, I got paddles. But do you have a uh, power workout? My question is that how many women want to look like this? All 6% of you women that watch us, do you want to look like this? High energy song. If you want low impact, follow Jeannie. So today we're not really having luck yet. Like, at all really. We've bought in like two games and everybody else thinks that their games are worth like 30 bucks for a basic game. So, I don't know. We're going to keep looking. Kind of uh, disappointing, but we're still happy to be here. Whoa. I thought that was your wife over there. See it, Chris, just to show what we got. Top Gun in rough condition, Star Force rough condition, all in rough condition. We have them all though already, so no need to ask. Sky Shark's cool. Actually, really cool game. I didn't know about until recently, and I played it, and I really enjoyed it. It's good. This is actually, despite what a lot of people say, one of my favorite NES games of all time. It's brutally hard, but I pl played it a lot when I was younger, so I feel like it's actually not as hard for me. But this is a cool game. It's like Aerosmith. Oh, it's beat up, but cool. We like these guys. They resaw it, but we like them. Good guys. Hey, you never know. As usual, we had a good time together at the swap meet, but now... It's time to go eat. <laughs> He's not happy. We're gonna go to another swap meet now. We had barely any luck at all at that swap meet, so it was rough. That was awful. As our usual, we're eating uh, healthy. That's the key to video gaming. Uh, healthy eating, uh, dieting. A lot of that. And today's the Super Bowl. Yeah. We're really excited to watch it. I don't care that much about football. I don't hate it, but we're not big Super Bowl uh, fans. Uh, uh, Tech Mobile. Uh, that's fun. Maybe I'll do that when I get home. But uh, yeah, good job. I hope they win. Go Lakers. Woo! Did you do it? <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, did he just eat it? He might have just ate it. I hope that's a different hand. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky. It comes with Atari controllers. Is there a game? Is there a game in there? Nope. Nope. Original NES. Ask the price. I'm just curious. How much? Thirty. It's not bad. It's not bad. I don't need another one though. We're stocked up. Ricky, you see any games? Nope. Hey, Dodongo. <laughs> Batman, Wizards and Warriors, Karate Champ, you got it. I think it's just baseball, Legendary Wings. Actually, you have this game, but you cannot find it. Yeah. I know you have most of the other one. Sweet. You can see this? Yeah. Do you have it? Strider is fantastic on the NES, no matter what anybody says. Ricky. Nice job knocking everything over, Chris. Let's try that again. Alright, since I always slap Ricky, I agreed that I would let him punch me in the stomach with this song. Ricky, you give me a good punch. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> Another beautiful day at the swap meet, but now we gotta give Ricky his presents for his birthday. Let's see if he likes them. So today we didn't do too good. We thought we'd do really well because it's the Super Bowl. We thought it would yeah. be empty. But A, it was crowded as ever. 
expensive. Expensive. Here's the thing that bugged me. It's like I, I, I don't like when people look up all their prices on eBay too much because sometimes they overcharge. But when people don't have any idea what they're worth, sometimes they can round up the games to what they think. This guy had like a whole NES collection. We were super excited. A lot of games oh, I had. so many. But he wanted $8 for every game. That's it. No budging. And, you know, there's a few maybe that are like 7 bucks or 8 bucks worth, but the rest are like $2 items or a dollar even. You know, it's, it's... Or no one's like bargaining anymore. Yeah. It's like... It was frustrating today. I'm not going to lie. But we had fun. I mean, that's yeah. what it's about. Hanging out with friends. It's good to always hang out with Chris and Ricky and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it was a good day overall. We had fun though. So, we're not going to... It was fun. That's more important. Having fun with friends. Super Friends! Alright guys, it is, as we said before, Ricky's birthday was the other day. I left my present for Ricky at home, but Chris is here to present him with his. Yes! Here you go, Ricky. I sure hope you like Mary-Kate and Ashley games. Mary-Kate and Ashley games! Yes! Ooh, that's a cool hat, dude. I like that. But... You gotta loosen it. Ricky looks, <laughs> Ricky looks great. On top of that, I can't believe this, honestly. Freaking awesome. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Mega Man 6. Woo! Ricky, here's a little surprise. We already, the audience already has a whole video and have seen everything we've got already. Oh. We've we filmed us picking it up, so. Next, we head over to Aaron's house, that's me, to see what I got Ricky. Zip lock for you. Take a guess. Ah. Uh. <laughs> wow, good guess. <laughs> Kirby? Turn it around. Oh, dang, thanks, man. Yeah, reproduction <laughs> car right there. We don't need to hear anymore. Ricky just goes on for about two minutes about how I'm the world's greatest friend, which I already know and you guys can already tell. But the next day, I decide to work on the shed a little bit more. Here we go. What's up, you guys? I am working on my roof today in the shed for the game room. And as you can see up there, there's a lot of ivy up there and stuff, so I'm going to try to be removing as much of that as I can so I can lay um, some of this roof coating down. Um, it kind of seals it, prevents it from uh, going through because it's just metal up there. So this is kind of what they use on uh, like mobile homes and stuff like that. So I'm going to try, give it a whack, so we'll see. I don't know if you guys know this or not, a lot of people do, but if you don't have an extension for a paint roller, 90% um, of the time you can unroll a broom and it works. So uh, a little tip from the pros, since I'm such a pro. Yeah. Alright, I got my roof coating ready to go. That's that. I'm tired. I think I'm gonna go have a pizza. I'm like a ninja turtle. Except not green and not a ninja or a turtle. Hello! Hello everybody. Welcome to <laughs> Ricky's room again. Um, hello guys, Aaron and Ricky. Um, what do we want to say? Anything first? We got anything special to say? Thank you. Thanks for the support. Thanks, yeah. You know, I, I like how in the last video I put, you guys can ask us anything, and some guy asked me, what's my favorite brand of potatoes? <laughs> so I was like, all right, cool, I said to ask anything, so so that was cool. But um, yeah, we had a good time this week. Um, we didn't, or I didn't get that much stuff. Ricky Ricky got a good amount. He got yeah. good stuff. Oh, yeah. It was his birthday again. This was his uh, birthday episode, Woo. I guess you could say. And our Super Bowl episode. That was Woo. fun. Yeah. It was fun. It was good. All right, Ricky, uh, start us off again. All right. Well, might as well start off with what Chris and Aaron got me. Mega Man 6 and Hammer and Harry. Yeah. He I don't even have to say anything. Yeah. They're awesome. He games. doesn't need to take them out of the box. You guys saw them. But those are awesome games. Um, Hammer and Harry 2, it's obviously a repro cart, um, yeah. but um, if you guys can ever play it like emulation or something, it's a really awesome. fun game. Yeah. All right. I got another Game Boy. But yeah. This one came with everything. It came with the charger and with a little light, the light boy. 
That's cool. So that was cool. Back in the day, that was like essential. For five bucks? Hey. Yeah. Then I got Robocop. It wasn't as great as I remember it as a kid, but you know, it was entertaining. If you p played it back in the day, then... Plus you're Robocop, so you're cool. <laughs> Regardless. And I, I still so. don't know why this day we don't have robotic cops. <laughs> there should be robotic <laughs> cops. And Platoon, Aaron already got one. That's my turn. Yeah. I like it. It's, it's different. It's not that I, easy, but... When you play, it's so weird. Guys will just jump out of the other trees and kill you. Like, you don't, you don't see it coming. That's how it was when I was a nom. <laughs> and then I got Goal. Football. Uh, it wasn't that great. It sucked. Too. Ricky's trying to be modest. <laughs> trying to be nice. I can't say too much bad stuff about NES. All right, and then uh, last but not least, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Seriously, uh, so much. So fun. good. I mean, we've yeah, got you, like there's so many different yeah. variations of Street Fighters that it's almost. You hard. can't say anything bad about Street Fighter. You can't. And if you do, Don't. you probably. I'm guessing it was. Uh, you, you go to hell if you do. So don't say anything bad about it. Alright, for me, Wayne's World Party Time Excellent. <laughs> Wayne's World, Wayne's World Party Time Excellent! I got Wayne's World for the Super Nintendo. Um, it's not fun, it's not terrible. Um, your weapon is like your guitar, <laughs> and there's so many stupid quotes in the game, which makes the game fun though and funny. But um, the game, I actually really got bored with it pretty quick. Um, <laughs> I haven't tried it since then, but I remember as a kid vividly. Not really enjoying it that much. Maybe nowadays. Um,. I got Micro Machines on the Genesis, um, which I do like this. You can race as like a car, a Formula One car, a 4x4, helicopter, like a power boat. That is fun though. Um, and you race, obviously, you know, like Micro Machines, like on the floor, or, like a pool table or something. It's a really good game. I recommend it. And uh, it's a cool looking cart too, so yeah. Um, a Capcom game, which I think I already have. I think this is your second. I, I don't know if I've showed them before. Trojan. Um, on the NES by Capcom, like I said. I enjoy it. I know it's kind of hard to play. Yeah. Um, it's a little difficult, but um, I like it. I played it a lot, so I think I have it down pretty good in how to play. And the last thing I got, like I said, I didn't get much. Um, the Swap Meet was pretty bare. And expensive. It was bare and expensive, like we said. It wasn't... I don't know. It had a weird vibe that day. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. It was still fun. But I did get this, which is one of my favorite games of all time, and I mean that. Um, Super Dodgeball for the NES. I know it's um, kind of like the same graphics, like the Technos thing with um, River City Ransom. Those World, are the best World games, Cup yeah. Soccer, Crash and the Boys. Those are great Dude. games. This is such a fun game. I highly recommend it to you guys. I think on the Famicom, it's four players. On the North American version, it's not. But um, it is such a fun dodgeball game. I mean, it's not your typical dodgeball. There's so many power, power moves. moves. <sighs> it's, it's a ridiculously good game. I highly... Give it my uh, seal of approval, which probably, up. which probably doesn't mean anything, but you get it anyway. <laughs> um, that's it, you guys. Like we said, it's short. It As usual, like us on Facebook, right, right, Ricky? Yes. Check us out on Gamester81.com. Check out everybody on Gamester81.com. There's a lot of cool people on there. I found Seriously. a few people just after we got in there that I didn't know existed, and I'm enjoying their shows. So um, go there or be square. Why did I say that? That's like so lame to say. I don't know. Then Aaron forgot. Like, comment, subscribe. Yes, subscribe. We always <laughs> push that on you guys. Please subscribe. Um, next week might be our first top 10 video. Um, a lot of people yeah. were saying they back it when I mentioned it in the last video. They were saying, yeah, go for it. Do it. We're excited. So There's so many good titles, though. It's yeah. so hard, We're honestly. thinking about doing top 10 NES games, which is really hard, hard. for me and Ricky being the NES fans we are. We've, we, wrote, we do have like the list written out. And we argued, I mean, you can imagine how hard it is to do an NES top 10 list by yourself if you're a <laughs> fanboy of an NES, but imagine between two different people, you know, we have different it's opinions, hard. but we think we got it boiled down pretty much to what our, yeah. thing, we'll probably do some honorable mentions because it's sad a lot to see of some that don't make Seriously. it, yeah, it's rough, so, I don't know, that's it, um, have a good day, see you guys next time, go game hunting, have fun, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side of the camera? I don't know. Hello?
already killed them. They're coming. Hey, what's up? We should go to a Goodwill now. All right, get it taken care of. Hey, will you uh, go grab my keys? Sure. I left them on the uh, table. The table? Yeah. Wait a minute. Is this my game? Hmm. Aaron. What's up? Hey, is this my game? What is it? Demon's Crest. Teach you to steal my games. Today we head out to a swap meet in Riverside, California. It's about an hour and a half away from our house, but we've never been here, so we're pretty excited to go. Thank you. Whoa, styrofoam? That's what I said. I've never seen them this big with styrofoam. It's styrofoam. And it's styrofoam. I love it. Here, I'll, I'll punch mine. Trash. Ooh, big straws. That's what I like to see. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Today we are in Riverside at Ruba Doe or Ruba Docks, whatever, some random swamp we've never been to. We don't really know. We drove kind of far, so hopefully we do good. We got not too much money. We did get some stuff this week, so uh, we'll see uh, how we do here. So, ready? Let's go. Well, Genesis. Genesis done. That's all. That's it? No, nothing with it. Oh, nope. Plug it? It's a plug and play one. Dang it. What is this? How much is this? A dollar? Yeah. Resident Evil 4, uh, greatly known as one of the best Resident Evils ever. Um, I really like it. There's no booklet, and there's a Sonic game here instead, but I don't know, it's a bug. This is just two though. Dig through, see if I can find the other one. At this point, we're pretty excited. This guy's selling everything for a dollar. He's not even looking at the games when we ask how much they are. So we're not used to the heat out here in Riverside, it's pretty hot, but um, we just got pretty good uh, games. This guy had a bunch of games for a dollar each, and uh, we scored on him, he got some ones he didn't know about, so uh, yeah, keep for looking. Buck, dude, a bunch of games for a buck. Yeah, we're happy now. We were a little upset at first, but we're good. Hi. Spawn on the farm again. Spawn's cool. Dude, Spawn. I haven't played it for PlayStation 2, though. It looks fun. Uh, uh, the back looks cool. I know the Super Nintendo one some people didn't like. Oh, I did, though. Nice. What? Oh. Hey, do you by any chance have the uh, disc for this? You know, look on the boxes without the covers. Where? Oh, like label. Yeah, faceless. Oh, label, look on the faceless yeah. games. Ha ha ha! Have it. Have it. Speed up, Metroid. Double, dribble. Double, dribble. How about the ball? Double Dribble has like the best slam dunk scenes ever. Dude, Pit Fighter looks awesome. Have you played it? No! It sucks. Really? Really? Yes, it's one of the worst games I've ever played in my entire life. It looks awesome though, look at that. It looks awesome. Ooh. Correct. You want a fun game? Try uh... Alright, look at that guy's chain. You can't tell me that it looks pretty lame. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what you want for this? How much? One buck. 
One? Why not? Why not? One dollar since I lost my other one. Shadows of the Empire. Thank you, man. Thank you. It was a pretty successful day in Riverside, but you know Ricky and I. No matter how many games we got, we can't get enough. We go out the next night. All right, it is late night and it is dark, and we are doing a last minute, uh, doing some trades tonight with our buddy Mike. You guys know the reseller, so uh, we're gonna see what he has. There he is. There he is. That thug. His name's. That hoodlum. The name's Mike. <laughs> now, for any of you guys that have friends that have a big lot of video games, it's always a good idea to ask if they're down to do trades. You can have extra copies of games that they really want, and they might have a few games that you really want. All you have to do is ask. Alright, so today I'm going out to look for plywood. As you guys know, I'm building that game room, and um, I'm out of money, and our floor needs plywood over it, so I am going to go look in dumpsters and crap like that. I've actually found quite a bit through the weeks, um, but uh, so I need a little bit more. So I'm going to go look right now. Uh, this is the uh, this is the plywood pursuit. <laughs> I started to get very discouraged after looking through alleys and alleys of crappy wood, but finally, I went on a good luck streak. I wanna know, have you ever seen wood? Oh, that's wood. I'm not gonna lie, I did really good today uh, for finding wood in alleys. I'm happy. Oh, sometimes you gotta get some good wood, yeah. Okay, so for any of you who have not seen my game room at all, or my future game room, this is uh, where we're at. But, um, okay, there we go. This is uh, how it's coming along. A lot of you uh, have seen it, I have not. Got uh, lights hooked up out here. I've got some two old school CRT TVs to play, uh, so my game's on. So this is what the floors look like underneath. There's some holes, but I actually found all this plywood you see here in trash cans, like what you just saw me doing. So um, I'm pretty thankful to get all that for free, and I just found the rest, so I'm going to bring it in. i got some cleaning up to do. We'll see. And there's the rest of my, uh, my crap. So let's see. So my stupid sander broke, so I was stuck sanding by hand in there, and that really sucked. So um, I'm done for the day. I'll uh, probably pick it back up tomorrow, and uh, I think I need to go play some video games. I need a rest. <laughs> well, we are here at Home Depot. It is later in the day from when you guys saw me earlier, um, or I guess a few seconds ago on the YouTube video. Um, <laughs> From uh, me working on the game room, we're gonna work on it a little more right now. And uh, I have my shelving. Yeah, get some shelving. And I have my son with me today. My wife, was driving, the kids are driving her crazy, so she made me take one kid. He's back there. You'll probably see him in a minute. What's up, Brixton? Say hi, buddy. Hi. That was him. <laughs> are 100% determined to get this game room done. We worked all through the night on it, and it was worth it. And don't worry guys, yes we are going to paint the walls. Hey Brixton. What? What is this? A uh, Super Mario. Cool. Super Mario game. Yep. Look! Look, Ricky! Super nice, Mario buddy. Alright, it's been a long day. Ricky, are you tired? A little, yeah. 
It's been a long day. We also ran out of material and stuff, and it's getting late. We were going to go film the pickup video at Ricky's <laughs> house right now, but screw that. We'll probably do it in a couple days. So, You'll see uh, us in a couple seconds then. Yeah, in a couple seconds to you guys, a couple days for us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Game Room's coming along, so it's a little surely. Thanks, guys. What's up, you guys? Uh, in case it's your first time watching, you guys, my name is Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And um, we're here to show you guys what we got. This is the part of our video where we normally just show you guys what we got. And, our pickups. Uh, our pickups. So uh, we like to blend in the pickups along with the show. So um, we did a lot of trades. Um, we bought some stuff also. Yeah, a ton of trades. Yeah, a whole bunch of trades. The trades were fun. We got some cool stuff. So yeah. normally I let Ricky start first, and I will continue that. Did I just say I let Ricky go first? Man, I sound like a jerk. Red Rick. All right, guys. So my first uh, stop is Game Boy stuff. I got these three for five bucks. Mega Man, is it Kirby's Dream Land and Kirby's Dream Land 2? Which are all great games. Great really games. Really good. I personally like the Mega Man one Mega the Man. Best. Do -do -do -do. Super Fighting Robot. It's like Mega Man 1, but yeah. slower. Yeah. A little it has slower. A game Boy flavor, I like to call it. <laughs> awesome, though. Yeah, it's awesome. And then I have the Me Ooh, Mega Man Anniversary Collection. That's great. really cool. It's great, honestly. We still do collect the regular Mega Mans on the NES and all the other ones. I'm still trying to complete it, but... You're getting close. This is great. You're right getting here. close. I got Baseball Stars for NES. Pretty fun game, I'm not gonna lie. For a baseball game, NES, not bad. Yeah, it's SNK, and the graphics are pretty cool. There's actually one guy, though, that bats. like He's like fully leaning over when he bats. <laughs> that probably looked really weird just now. Yeah. Oh, well. And then I also got this... Bazooka, what's it called? Blitzkrieg. Aaron knows more about this game. Yeah, than it's I have. fun. It's a, it's a super scope game. Um, there's not that many great super scope super scope games. There are a couple good ones. This is one that I like, and like Ricky said, that is 100% factory sealed. Factory sealed. Awesome. So, good for you, dude. Dollar. <laughs> good work. Yeah. And then I also picked up Atari 400. I actually don't know anything about it yeah we knew we knew when we picked it up that we weren't gonna lie to you guys and say we knew we knew when we looked at it we're like we know nothing about this the guy had it listed for 15 bucks went down to 10 without us even asking <laughs> so we said hey we'll take it it's in good condition it has the cables it doesn't have any controllers but we can get those yeah um i emailed john game straighty one uh, a little bit earlier i haven't i think he actually just emailed me back but i haven't had time to read it we asked him about it i know he knows all about that stuff yeah he's like the lord one of guy would know it'd be him yeah john knows all so <laughs> The Atari 2600. Yeah, that's cool, man. Box. Original box, man. It has all the cardboard in there and everything, so good condition. He also got that's a cool. Sega CD, which is at my house in my game room right now. As you guys saw, we, uh, we're a little bit further than you guys saw in the video right now. We're putting up shelves right now, and uh, <laughs> we did paint. I know in the video you didn't see it, but um, yeah, we have things mixed in there, so a lot of things might you see missing later. We don't know where we'll be filming next, but yeah, next we're going. Week. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? All right. My Harry turn! Alright, for me, Primal Rage. Pretty cool, Mortal Kombat style graphics. I did enjoy it a lot uh, on the arcade, on the arcade. I think a lot better, but it was yeah. still fun. Yeah, arcade's better. Yeah, there's still some cool blood in it. Um, Justice League Task Force. It is also a fighter like Primal Rage. Um, you know, you can be Batman and Aquaman and stuff. Um, not like that other Aquaman game that sucks, but this one's not that <laughs> bad. I like it. I think it's kinda... it's pretty fun. Good fighter. Uh, this is really cool, Maui Mallard in Cold Shadow. It is basically Donald Duck. It's a side scroller. Um, the graphics are really good, and it's a really fun side scroller. I'd say uh, maybe a hidden gem, kinda. If a lot of people don't know about it, I personally think it's great. Uh, Gods, which I think is a hidden gem too, which I didn't know much about either till when I got it. And it's like a side scroller, also a little bit of platforming and. Uh, you're a pretty buff dude in the intro, I'm not gonna lie. That guy looks like 300 status, so... So like me. Just like Ricky. Like, with Ricky, your shirt off looks just like that guy. Um, alright, on a PlayStation, I got Mega Man 8. Awesome. Um, this is cool. It's very fun, and we've got a lot of Mega Man yeah. stuff this episode, but, uh, we're Mega Man fans. Mega Man owns. Woo! Um, Rayman, which is really cool. I know a lot of people love it. I do, too. Um, the artistic style to me is very cool. Graphics, it's a fun side scroller, a little platforming too, so that's fun. Um, Adventures of Dino Ricky or Dino Ricky. Um, it's by Hudson Soft. It's basically like a shoot 'em up mixed with uh, like Wonder Boy or what do you call it, Adventure Island. So um, it's really fun. I actually really recommend it. I didn't know too much about it, um, but I, I really recommend it now. Skater Die 2. <laughs> I do love. Don't laugh at me. I love this game. Um, it is good. I memories as a kid, it. like some of you guys know, I'm a skate. I was a skateboarder.
Blades of Steel. Coolest hockey game, right? One of the best, seriously. Coolest hockey game on the NES. This day. Yeah, get the puck! Get the puck! <laughs> it, it's, it's really good. I recommend you guys try it. Um, snake, Rattle, and Roll. Roll? Roll. It's like an roll. isometric game. Um, it's pretty cool. You're a snake that bounces around, and honestly, I don't really know the point. Uh, I did play it a lot, and I never really understood it, but it's not. It's, it's still enjoyable, so you guys can try and figure it out a little more. My last NES game, a Styanax, if that's how you pronounce it. Oh, we had this case made. But um, it's a really fun game. You're a buff dude, and it's uh, you're like a warrior. Um, I recommend it also. If you guys want to know a review about it or know more, check out a... Uh, NES Complex's review on this. He did a good job on it. And good job. my last thing, our last thing, is from a dude named uh, the Portlandian. Really cool YouTuber. You guys should check him out. Nice guy too. He sent us this uh, with, for free. With you know, we're not we're, we weren't asking for it, but he sent it to us, and um, it was really cool of him. Double Dragon on the Sega Master System. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was Thanks, super man. stoked he did that. So, and he put two posters in here. I won't take them out right now because for time reasons. Or, I don't want you guys to sit here and watch me do it for 10 minutes. <laughs> but the posters are in extremely good condition. One's like an Afterburner poster, the other one's like a mix of like Space Harrier and a few other games. If you guys like this, we do like to remind you guys, like the videos, as you guys know and yeah. hopefully can see. We put time into this, you know, we're filming all through the week and editing all through the week. So it's really <laughs> fun though. Comment on the video, guys. I love talking to you guys. We love looking at your guys' yeah. comments and laughing about them. And you guys say some really nice things, and we, we're stoked on the community. So. It's really cool. And subscribing. If this is your first time and you guys haven't seen us, subscribe. Our show, we do... This is our NES Pursuit videos, as you obviously know. We do uh, a reviews called Play It Again, where we look at old video games, see if we should play them again. Yeah. And we just started doing top tens. You guys should check that out also. We do uh, top ten NES games. We're going to do a lot more. Yeah. So, we're it's going to be fun. that up. Yeah, we're going to see. Maybe start doing like top ten shoot 'em ups on the system or something like that. You know, fighting games. Because yeah. it's rough. People can get mad about top tens, and I don't blame them. <laughs> so that's it for us. Um, the only other thing I did want to say is, um, as you guys know, or some of you know, I have two beautiful little children. My little son, Brixton, who's two, and my daughter, Kinsley, who is one. And um, my wife is due for another baby. Oh, my gosh. In uh, August. So Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Bravo. I don't know what I'm having yet. Yeah. I don't know yet, but when I know, you guys will know. Baby's due in August, so... Uh, Keep us in your thoughts. It'll Go. be fun. Go, my family. Yay. Yay! So that's it, you guys. Enjoy. Have a good day. And we'll see you guys next time. Seriously, we have no room for anything. Look at this. Ricky, show me your, uh, some of your just random drawers. Go ahead, keep opening. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, just some more. Okay, guys, and I'm not joking. All these things are full. Keep going. That's nothing, you guys. That one I can't show. Oh, they're hidden secrets. Yeah, and these are full, that's full, that's full, that box is full, this whole entire bin is full of systems, and it's crazy. We have an addiction! Ah! I'm ready to go to the swap meet now. You, you are? are? Yeah. Should we call Chris? I don't think we should call Chris. Honestly, I've been watching the videos and he's been sucking. You're right. His angles, the way he thinks he's too cool to like be in the videos sometimes to play Pokemon and stuff <laughs> like that. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. No, we're not calling him. Another Sunday morning, guys, and we're starting off the way you all know we like to start. Health food. McDonald's. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We're at McDonald's like we showed. Another healthy breakfast for us. Um, Ricky, do you have any idea what we're going to get today? I'm going to find Metal Storm for the NES for sure. That's what Ricky's been looking for lately, so that's his dig. Mine is, I've been, uh, let you guys know, I'm going to start like really working on my NES collection more than anything, so 
Um, I'll still get other stuff, but the main thing I'm going to be looking for is Nintendo stuff, the uh, original Nintendo. So give we'll him, see. yeah, Nintendo. give me Nintendo. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, all right, guys, we are at the flea market and we are ready to do this. Let's go. Uh. more black box ones, so maybe, if we can work out a deal. This is Ripley. Another Kung Fu? Kung Fu! <laughs> double, double. Gauntlet. A lot of people have this, but it's really fun. It's a four player game on the NES, and um, I recommend it, even single player. Tetris Worlds. Top spin. Actually, top spin is like super fun. This is really fun. My favorite game of all time. These dance beat and <clears throat> a lot of sports games. Yippee! Hey, you guys think it's a little crooked? <laughs> I think they're pretty epic. Dude, this will block the wind for sure. <laughs> this will block the wind for sure. Whoa! You should wear those when you game. I, uh, I want to play heavy shredding on the NES while I wear these. Yeah, I have that one with all the playbooks. I don't. I don't think it came with all the playbooks though. So normally I wouldn't buy a game. Genesis uh -oh. Sports Game for a buck. What's up? How could I open? We're gonna buy it. Yeah, it's a dollar. You know what? I will take it, my friend. I've been to a lot of swap meets in my day, and this kid was one of the nicest people I've ever met that worked at a swap meet. Gradius, one of the best shooters ever. I find it pretty funny that Ricky and I always run into Dave Hester, the guy that used to be on Storage Wars. He's actually a pretty nice guy, and he had quite a bit of Atari stuff here. Ricky ended up buying an Atari 5200 from him. Sweet! $2 is better cheap price. Yeah, it's good. Better cheap price. Friday the 13th, Mighty Bomb Jack, and TMNT. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go! Would you do 10 for 4? She's already being nice. Yeah. Every kid. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> it says the guy who just tried to talk I Dave down like $50. Hey, I, I offered him a good price. Is it good? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah, $3 is good. That's kind of like my rule, never to spend more than $3 each on a game. I just found some perfect right here. Probably really wants this. Shut up, dude. Wow! <laughs> Look at his face up close. See if you can get a good zoom on that. He looks... No, this one. He looks disgusting. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, the whole thing? Yeah. How much for this? Ricky's going to get another game, but while he does, um, today's pretty good. We've had quite a few games and actually pretty good prices. Nobody's tried to talk us up too much. Most Nintendo games are like three bucks each, which works out great for me as you guys heard because I was saying I want to do my NES collection mainly. So, so far so good. Oh, I was looking for it and I finally found it. Do you know what you want for these? 25, 25. Uh, this one's 15, 15. Uh, you know what they did? Got yeah. smart. Although we may not be acting like it, we were super disappointed. These people used to sell everything for a dollar. I mean everything and anything. They never checked any prices. Uh, sad day for us. Here. Charger? It's got batteries. Let's see. Test. I'm kind of bummed it's scratch though. Nope. Either the batteries are dead or it's dead, so... I don't know. I can't be a 10 if I don't know if it works. That's just me. <laughs> Not a bad deal for 10 bucks, it's decent. Oh, Lico, this is, is rayos, Ricky's bilingual. He can't hide his Mexican yeah. so. Mexicanism. Despite the wind ruining every clip of audio we had today, we had a really good time at the swap meet. We got a lot of NES games, and they were all 3 bucks each, so that's a score in our opinion. But now it's time to go try out that Atari 5200. Hi, I hope it's channel 3, I don't even know which channel it is. We're trying out a 5200 Ricky just bought. 
from Dave Hester, this old storage wars guy. Oh, wrong channel. What the? Neither Ricky or I are very well informed on the Atari systems, so it took us a little while to figure out how to switch the channels in the back and all that, but after a while, we finally got it all figured out, and dang, we were stoked. There it is. That was it? I don't know, but... Let me see. It's kind of blurry. Oh, there. There! Woohoo! It works. Try it. Come on, controller. Work. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> right, I gotta admit, Pac-Man is so much better with the joystick. This is like, great. We were glued to the Atari 5200 for a while. We played Pac-Man for a while, we played Popeye for a while. But now, it's time to get going on that game room. This thing needs to get done. Alright guys, it is the same evening as the evening we were at the swap meet. And I'm going to Ricky's right now. We're going to pick up some stuff for um, my game room. Uh, some shelves and stuff to put the systems in. We're hoping to actually get it done tonight. It's uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, I do work tomorrow at like 4 a.m. So we got to be quick. We'll see how much we can get done tonight. Hopefully all of it. And uh, that'd be cool to show you guys in this episode. So uh, I'll talk to you soon. Ah! Here we are. Ricky? I pulled some stuff out already. Look at Ricky has like the old stuff ready to go. Do, do, does any of you guys remember these like in uh, junior high or elementary school? Dude, this thing's cool. Look at this. You can put all your systems right there. When they would like roll that out in class, it was like the most exciting thing ever because you knew you didn't have to pay attention all day. You're like, video time! That was awesome. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Man, I am getting so excited to get this game room done. I'm not kidding. I don't care if it's getting dark. I don't care how long it takes us. I am determined to get this thing done. All right, guys. So this is where we are at right now. Um, we transported most of the stuff over from Ricky's. As you see, we have one game shelf up. Um, that's all we had for materials last time. Um, we are going to start building more shelves. Ricky is at work already. Um, couch will not be there. I don't know why I showed this area. This is where the TV will be. One of them. We have three. Couch will be back here. TVs. One, two, three. All CRT TVs. Sorry about the bad camera in, guys. And the green screen is going to go in that unpainted area. So we can finally have one set up at all times. We're excited. This is going to be where you're going to be seeing us soon. So it's pretty fun. Pretty exciting. We'll see how much we can get done. So, here we go. I put a gap here so I can put that one thing here. Uh, what one thing? Oh, the PlayStation holder? Yeah. That bad boy. Oh yeah, we got a sweet PlayStation sign uh, for you guys to look at later. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah. So you think I should go a little higher because the system? Or no, because we need to be able to get into the system. Yeah. So that's like you can put, you can actually put N64. Because so I need to be able to have a room. Yeah. yeah. You can actually. The disc ones we can put down lower because they don't yeah. need much room. Right in the bottom. In the bottom. Um, yeah, and I'll cut more whole. Um, since we're gonna put the disc ones on the bottom, those are the ones that overheat. Yeah. I'll just sh oh wait, we're gonna oh, we'll probably have it open when we play anyways. True. It won't matter. You can shoot some in the back with too, I mean, it helps. I did that with my old one, I shot holes in the back, yeah. and I never got the red ring of death, so. <laughs> and I had my Xbox for like. We could just shoot like holes in random holes. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. I think that's a good idea. Alright, mate. Okie dokie. That is as far as we've gotten. We're not gonna show you guys like too much of what we did inside and show everything in detail yet, because we want to save that for when it's actually like yeah. done, done. But, um. What you can see, I don't know if you can see that, you know, poster and this stuff, and obviously the sign, which is cool, but we got a lot done, and we do have about, how many systems in there, Ricky, hooked up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Nine. Nine so, for now. We hooked up control. for now. We got two more TVs down here to hook up. We have a small one going. So we're going to figure things out, but it's getting late. And we work tomorrow. So, I can't even do it. <laughs> we're tired. We'll see you soon. Hi, guys. What's up, guys? <laughs> wow. Okay, did you guys hear Ricky's voice? I'm Aaron, you guys. And I'm Ricky. Sorry, guys. Losing my voice. Ricky. Bear with me. Ricky's losing his voice pretty bad right now. So. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. That was lame, Ricky. That's okay. Um, what's up, you guys? Thanks again for all the support. Is something I wanted to say. Me and Ricky were just talking two minutes ago, and we're like, dang, we're feeling some good love by uh, all you guys that support us out there on every different yeah, thanks, site and different way that you guys watch it. So we appreciate it. Um, good times at the swap meet again. As usual, game room is coming along good. amazing. We didn't show you guys too much um, in the video, but it's a lot further than you saw, and yeah. um, should be done in the next video, I'm thinking. Yeah, this will probably be the last time you see this. Yeah, maybe. We might do it well, here. We'll do it here and there. You so. never know. So. All right, so for our uh, games, let's let Ricky start again, as always. All right, guys. So I got me some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The one where they're all... Uh, <laughs> they're all red. <laughs> yeah, I know. I never <laughs> wondered why they're all red in there. And by the way, about that game, I love that game. A lot of people uh, don't like it. A lot of people it's actually good. hate it. I love it. I actually enjoy the underwater level where you defuse the bombs and dodging the seaweed. Turtles in the half shell, turtle power! But I have NES on discipline, so I enjoy the NES hard games. So. Section Z was the other one I got. It's pretty fun. Yeah, it's like a shoot 'em up. Uh, you can actually shoot back and forth, which uh, not all shoot 'em ups do, so that's that's a pretty cool option to have in an NES game. Yeah. And then I got a Game Genie dot booklet. Sorry. For Genesis? Yeah, for Genesis. Just. Which we know nowadays, you can go on the internet and look them up, but it was cheap. Come on, then again, you can play video games on emulators, but hard copies are the way to go. Then I also picked up uh, Super Castlevania 4. Freaking good! Awesome game! I <laughs> Sorry, Ricky's voice. <laughs> oh, Ricky's phone just went off. That's so unprofessional. No, it's okay. Um, that game is awesome. Um, it is fun. The whip that you can go in any direction with is fantastic. It is... Do you think it's the best Castlevania game? So far, yes. Or Symphony. I've never tried Bloodline, so I can't see. Bloodline's good, Symphony's good, so there's a few good ones. That is one of my favorites, so... So, so far, this is the best. And tell them how much you got that for. A dollar. <laughs> at a garage sale, not on camera. You got that for a freaking buck. <laughs> so, what I the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Dun, da, da! Atari 5200, Ricky. Oh, yeah. And he bought it from... Dave. Dave Hester, the guy who used to be on uh, Storage Wars. We've seen him so many times, we honestly don't even care when we see him. We're like, what's up, Dave? And he's like, hey, what's up, guys? I wish he knew who we were. He probably doesn't know. But he knows. <laughs> we're not cool. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're cool. All right, guys. For me, not too much things, but uh, awesomeness of what I did get. Uh, first thing, I got this uh, for the Dreamcast. The House of the Dead 2. It is amazing. Good game. Uh, two players it's at fun. the same time. Fantastic gun game. Gun game. It's quacktastic. Quacktastic. Quack, quack, quack. If you guys don't know what that's from, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> and then the rest of my things are all on the NES. Same thing Ricky got. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't need to say anything else. I will show you next. Mighty Bomb Jack. Um, I'll show you the picture. I don't want to take it out. Um, it's pretty cool. It's like a cute style game where um, you float around and collect bombs, but I didn't really get the point because... Even if you don't collect the bombs, you can just run through the stage and it'll let you keep going. <laughs> so, um, but it was fun, still, even though I didn't really get what the missions were and all that. Dude, what the heck am I supposed to do? 1942 by Capcom. Pretty cool. The music is the only thing that really bugs me in the game. It's like, <laughs> there's some really loud noises in there. I thought the game was a lot better than it was. I remembered it being better, but it was still fun for nostalgic reasons. And this. Friday the 13th. Ooh. This, some people don't like, I love. There's side scrolling, there's also like that t view where you ask you like, do you wanna go left, go straight, click here, kind of thing. The intro screen too is pretty freaking scary. It's like terrifying. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid and I saw that knife go through the mask, I was like, Ugh. <laughs> So, but it's good. And the first time I saw Jason chasing after me in that game, I crapped my pants. <laughs> But then again, I crap my pants on a day-to-day -day basis. And the last thing I got, which had over 1 million sold in Japan by Konami. Amazing game. Gradius or Gradius, however you guys want to say it. Um, it's a shooter also. Fantastic game. Responsible for so many good sequels. Yeah, I'm sure most of you guys have played this. If you haven't, definitely recommend it. Good game. Good game. Guys, that's remember when we used, when people used to play when we used to play PC games back in the day. Yeah. You always type GG, which means good game. I don't know why I just thought of that. 
GG. That's it, GG. So that's all we got, you guys. Um, like the videos, please. We noticed on the last one, we told you guys to like them, and so many of you guys did. Yeah, thanks. Super cool, means a lot. It helps us feel good about all the time we put into these. Yeah. Um, comment on the videos. I comment back to almost every single one of you. Try to as much as I can. And you guys are funny. <laughs> I like you guys. Um, <laughs> what else? Subscribe. Please subscribe. It means a lot. You guys have definitely been doing that. There's yeah. so many new people every day, and if this is your first time seeing us, welcome to the show. We put out a video every week. Every week. Every single week. And I think next week is going to be another top 10, which our last video, top 10 NES game, did very well. So we're pretty excited to do the next one. I won't tell you guys exactly what it is, but uh, yeah. it's not on the NES. So there's a hint. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Goodbye, guys. Dude, what's your favorite video game of all time? Turtles in Time. Ooh, good job. Aaron! What's up? Dude, your present just came in. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, I'm excited. Take a guess. I'd say you got me either Castlevania, a Contra game, Ooh. or something extremely manly, is my guess. Oh, it's better. Oh. You got me Mary Kate and Ashley licensed to drive. This is the greatest present ever. <laughs> Once again, we are on our way to Riverside, California. Today we're going to a different swap meet than last time. I've never been here before, but Ricky has. He said they have some pretty good stuff. But first, we need to eat. Good morning. Good morning. It is Sunday morning, and we're Jack in the Box, as always. We're going to get fat someday. I feel like this whole YouTube thing we're doing is going to be like a big montage one day of how we got fat, but oh well. <laughs> it's freezing in here, but um, today uh, we're excited. But is there anything you're looking for in particular? Yes, wild guns. After doing the review, yeah, we, needed, wow. we had to play it on the Wii. I want it so bad. <laughs> we don't have it. So, and I'm looking for anything NES, so hopefully I find a bunch of stuff. But I work excited, like we said, Riverside, we have a long day ahead of us, so yippee yep. skippy. It seems like every time we go to the swap meet lately, it's super windy. Sorry about the audio. Alright guys, so we're at the, this week we're in Riverside. Ricky's, Ricky's going like this for some reason. I think he's blocking the sun. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we're in Riverside. Ricky won't let us say which swap meet because he thinks it's kind of hidden, so we won't say. But it's a new one for us again, and we do have quite a bit of time today. We've got some money, so we're excited. And um, let's go, Ricky. Go! <laughs> different type of game. It's actually one of my favorites as a kid. Really fun game. Uh, like I said, it's very different, but well worth getting. Still need some air? Yeah, I don't know. How's Stargate? I've never played Stargate on the Genesis. Anybody know? I don't know. So I'm not going to buy it. Sorry, people. It's good and expensive. Whoops. Hey, what are you doing out here? I'm going behind your back. Ricky wanted to say catch you slipping, but he didn't want to use it. Billy and Jay, we're using catch you slipping. Oh, that was the one I got last week. How much? I don't know. I think Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Ooh. Pretty cool. Air Fortress. How much are the uh, Nintendo games? Uh, that's for dollars. Okay. I'm guessing they're all around. Yeah. Black Box Tennis, do you have that? Yo, Steinax? That's a good game, dude. Steinax? It's fun. 
Do we go three on it or? Double dare. No, we should. Sell for five dollars. Oh, okay. How much you want for a Cyanax? That one is five. Five? Cyanax. Cyanax. For a Cyanax. Alright, whatever. I really want the game, so. I shall give in to temptation. <laughs> Sweet. Comes with Manuel. Oh. Manuel is Manuel. Manuel. Oh, shut up, stupid idiot. <laughs> I like this music. It's just my style. Mariachi. So they got Solstice, which I do have. Spot, which is one of the most terrible games I've ever played in my entire life. Um, Agradius, which is good. Heavy Barrel, which is actually very good. I would want it if it wasn't written on it. But Aaron, you do know you can easily clean those, right? Yes, I know. I'm just too lazy. It's scratched up, but kind of like Akari Warriors, but a uh, really good game by Data East. $10? Just what Aaron paid for it. That's true, I got mine for right. 10. 10 bucks sounds good. Ricky, welcome to the box Super Scope group. Mine's in better condition. <laughs> Just found this in a pile of junk. So it's always good to look in junk piles, even if it's not like a seller or someone that looks like they has games, because he wants two bucks for it. And it's amazing. Ninja Guy. Get whatever. Dude, what about these crazy. ones? Uh, the Nintendo ones. That one's eight. How much? $3. Three dollars? Yeah. Flash and Demon Head. It's cool. Tension Tetris. Just kidding. Except the towers. Um, honestly, I don't. I never played this. Sanak? Um, I'm not gonna lie and say how. I've played most NES games. Okay, today we have got a lot of NES games and everybody here, almost everybody has been selling them for $3 each and some a lot of people are willing to work with us. I just got a guy that gave me six for 15 bucks and um, this is a cool swap meet. I wish it was closer to us. It's like an hour away, but it's really cool and we're getting good deals here and Ricky's buying more as, as we speak behind us. We got quite a few NES games at really good prices here. Ricky just informed me that there's a shop around here that sells retro games, but they're not open for a little while, so we're gonna kill some time. Alright, so we are still in Riverside and we're waiting for a game shop to open across the street and we realized there was a Sabres across the street. Yay! We haven't been to one in forever, there's like none in our area. It closed down. It yeah, huge. so we're excited. I don't know if there's gonna be anything, there might be absolutely nothing, so we'll see. They might even tell us to stop filming, but let's go for now. <laughs> So this was pretty much our first time going to a Savers to look for retro video games. And I'm gonna say that it's gonna be our last. We found nothing but sports games. Literally. That's it. Well, we found something interesting. So the only interesting thing we saw at the Savers... It, first of all, why are we filming in the bathroom? That's weird. Okay, but secondly, look at this. Ricky just discovered this. Uh, restroom check sheet. Sunday. Uh, Mark did it and his comment says that the men's room still smells. <laughs> <laughs> pretty awesome. So we had to kill about an hour of time to wait for the retro video game store to open. Ricky informed me that this place is not only a retro gaming store, it's a skateboarding shop. That's like a dream come true for me. Finally after killing all that time, I'm ready to go in. So this is like my dream store. Uh, Ricky told me about it. It's, it's amazing in there. Skateboarding and retro gaming. There's like tons of like sealed games, like Majora's Mask and stuff. So he was supposed to be open at 11. We've came back like three times and it's like 11.45 now. So we just highly doubt he's coming, which is really sad because honestly, I was like so excited to go here. I can't even tell you how much I wanted. I've never seen a skateboarding slash video game store, retro video game. Man. So I'm disappointed, but uh, oh, well, whatever. Don't worry, Aaron. That's just the way the pursuit plays out. 
I'm writing this guy a note telling him that we've been here like three times back and forth. Uh, it's kind of annoying. I want to leave him a note because if it's your business and it says what time you open, if you have people waiting. Sorry, I'm upset. Skateboards and games. You can't tease me like that and not be open. I cut the clip right here because I move right here, and when I do, you could see the name of the board shop. Even though I'm pissed, I'm nice enough to know that I don't want to ruin somebody's business. All that you missed is that Ricky mentioned it's my birthday coming up. Yeah, my birthday's in three days. <laughs> That's, you can't ruin We were supposed birthday. to get him some for his birthday here. Yeah, this is dumb. Lame. Oh, I won't show the name of the shop though in the video just because. It's already on the... <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, that's the way the pursuit pays out. Yeah. Well, since we're in the area, we decided to meet up with our good buddy NES Complex. He said that Vintage Video Game Geek wanted him to do something for him. All right, so I was talking to Vintage, and he said that since I'm going to get together with you now, that that I, you know, he wanted me to give to give you a hearty handshake. Ooh, gosh. And you. He wanted me to, to tussle your hair. Why do you want me to tussle my hair? <laughs> what is up, you guys? There you go. You've been... T no! <laughs> 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 you know. Oh, man. That's bad. Yeah. That's really bad. We're here with Chris, by the way. And he has complex. Just having a good time. It's Tynox. We had a really good time hanging out with NES Complex. He's a really good guy, and I recommend you guys check out his channel if you haven't yet. But now, it's time to go home. It's been a really long day, and we're both pretty darn tired. Okay, talk about a long day. Yeah. We were gone for about eight and a half hours today, so yikes. That was a freaking long game day, longer than normal. I'm not going to lie, I'm extremely tired. It was the time change last night, too. Yeah. I'm, like, way behind on sleep, you guys. I just posted that top ten, like, last night. I probably got two hours of sleep, like, four nights in a row. So... It's time to take a nap if my wife lets me. I've been gone all day. She's going to beat me when I walk in the door. But, all right, pick up video time. What's up, you guys? I am Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And this is the part of the video where we do our pickups. We like to do our show, as you guys saw, but we also like to bring you guys in a little and just hang yeah. out with us after the videos. I think it makes it cool that way. It is uh, my birthday tomorrow. For you guys, it was maybe a few days ago. It was March 13th. So uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Ricky has a gift for me a little bit later. I haven't opened it yet, so we're excited. Let's do our pickups, see what we got. Ricky, as usual. Start us off. I'll start off with Legacy of the Wizard. It was pretty fun. I love the fact that you can get like, you don't just have one character. You get to choose from a bunch of characters. So. I very much like that game. I mean, my brothers played that a lot as a kid. Yeah. It's um, a pretty interesting game. I, I guess a lot of people don't like it from what I've been hearing, but I do like it a lot. Before we go any further, yes, we are in my new game room, but it is not 100% done. So we don't want to show you guys too much. Trojan, pretty fun game. Yeah, Capcom game, um, side scroller. It's a little hard to control, but it's a fun game. It's really fun. And then I also picked up Jaws. It's not as bad as I've heard it is. It, it was actually pretty entertaining. I'm it's sorry. okay. It's LJN, which means it's, which a, it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think it's okay too. I think people give it a worse name than it really is. G Lock. I actually enjoyed this, believe it or not. Just reminds me of a uh, Top Gun. Top Gun. I've never played. Better it. than Top Gun though. It better be better than Top Gun, because Top Gun sucks. <laughs> Outrun 2019. I didn't really enjoy it. I'm sorry if you like it. <laughs> I don't think that many people I like didn't it, enjoy it. Doom Troopers. Yeah. It's it's kind of like Contra, kind of fun. But this one, Cybernator, I had been looking for this thing for a while. It is fun. It gives Rick Ricky's official thumbs up. Ricky has an official thumbs up now, and that game gets it. So if that <laughs> game sucks, his thumbs up goes to crap. Yep, this game rules. I Pretty much. I hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry, from when I was a kid it was awesome. Yeah. A Super Scope. Yay! Boxed. I have one box too that I don't think you guys can see. Sorry, are. Brian. Brian E. Pongen. <laughs> Brian E. Pongen, we got if your Super Scope. If this is your Super Scope, send me the sensor. You forgot to put it in here. Yeah, you jerk. <laughs> you stupid idiot. No, I'm just kidding. Is that it for you? I'm done. Okay, for me, first game, Super Nintendo UN Squ Squadron. Shoot em up. Fantastic shoot em up. Um, amazing game. Um, you can choose from different characters. Some amazing music. I recommend it. Xanak. It is a shooter that I don't really recommend. Um, it's okay. It's kind of hard. It's just not that great, to be honest. I don't need to talk about it too much. Clash at Demon Head on the NES is very fun. Your character looks like, like a Dragon Ball character in the game. 
Um, it's a side scroller, kind of plays like a, a Mega Man type game, and also there's a little bit of RPG elements with like going through shops and stuff. So I, I do recommend Clash of Demon Head. So if you like Goku, go ahead. Yes, if you like Goku, go ahead. Um, Rescue. It has um, cool graphics. It's okay. My favorite part was um, a sniper scene where you get to like snipe at a guy from a cool view, and it looks pretty cool for an NES game. Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden, Gaiden. whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't care. Honestly, I know so many people care. I don't need to talk about it. Great ninja game. Fa my favorite ninja game on the NES. It's very ninja-like. Yeah, ninja-like. Uh, Fabio's Revenge. No, it's Iron Sword <laughs> 2. This game I actually do really enjoy um, quite a bit. It's a little awkward, the controls and the character animation, but I think it's a very good game. Fabio's best game. thing ever. Fabio. Fabio. Um, the Guardian Legend, mm. which is very good. It's a shoot 'em up and it also is a game where you can get out of your your vehicle, go through levels kind of like Blaster Master, and even something I noticed is there's a warning sound that goes off, and it sounds just like Blaster Master when a boss is about to come. What, what the, the heck? heck? Deadly moves on the Genesis. Um, it's a fighter game. I don't think it's very good at all. I guess it's power moves on the SNES. I didn't know that till recently. I didn't really like it, to be honest. It's a fighter. Techno Cop. I was hoping it was like some cop that goes like clubs. <laughs> but it's not. It. I honestly, I really hated it. Like a lot. I put it in and I didn't like it at I all. I like the cover. <laughs> there was like, I, I don't think there was like any music or anything. The only thing that was cool, I remember when, when you shoot people, they like explode into a million bits and pieces and it's pretty gore gory. I also got this game, but I'm not even showing it because it sucks. Um, that's all we got. Ricky did get me a gift. Okay, so here it is. I haven't looked at it yet. I haven't opened it, so I don't know what's in here. It's nothing special. Don't say that. Ooh, it's a lot of things. The Lone Ranger. Thanks, dude. I'm excited about this. I, as you guys know, I'm building my NES collection. There's like in here so i'm excited time lord which is a game i do like thank you ricky i'm not gonna talk about them all because there's like eight in here i don't want to go too long championship bowling never played but i don't have <laughs> so i want it is it like Wii bowling it's a motion control Ooh, yes. base wars i talk about this a lot but i've never gotten it one of my favorite baseball games ever i had to. fighting shooting um great baseball game akari warriors thing another one of my favorites that i don't have i don't know why i don't have some of these you guys some of them are common but i don't have them what you got me this Dude, Power Blade, thank Woo! you. I'm freaking excited about this, dude. And that's why I got you Power Blade too, because you have the box. Dang, Gina! Shadow yeah! Man. Freaking good game, you guys. Not just a game that not a lot of people have, but also a very underrated game, in my opinion. It's a side scroller. The guy is punches everything, breaks through walls, and it plays really well. The controls are really well. Oh, kind of reminds fine. me of Ninja Gaiden, but uh, you know, a, a fighter guy instead of a ninja. And the guy wears like the most epic glasses ever. Thank you, Ricky. You're welcome. Yay! I'm asking, I'm really excited. I just said up something else. I'm really <laughs> excited about that. That is awesome. Thank you. And for now, we want, did want to say please like the video, you guys. As we always tell you guys, it takes a lot of time. We love doing it, but we love seeing the likes just to show us that you guys like it. Um, comment on the videos. All of you guys do that. Most of you guys do. Yeah. We love talking to you guys. Subscribe if you haven't. We do videos every week. Even if it's not a pursuit video like this one, which next week might not be, depending on time, Maybe, but yeah. there'll be something out regardless. <laughs> and we'll, we always do a good job on it. Well, we think we do edit it very well. Good job. Um, we do have a Twitter now and an Instagram. Ooh. Um, I know there should be, uh, well, we should have it in the comment in the description, but if we don't, there's like things to click on the side unless we get the new YouTube layout, which I don't know if we want the YouTube layout yet. There's a new one coming. Uh, some people have it, some don't. We'll see if I want it. Otherwise, check us out on Game Street 81 also. And I did want to say thank you to uh, Sam at Screw Attack. He's been really cool, um, thanks, really nice yeah. guy that's been just really helping us out lately and uh, talking to us a lot and saying some really nice things. So we appreciate that, Sam. And uh, we appreciate you guys. And that is it. Um, until next time, we'll see you next Sunday. Have a good day. Yeah. See ya. Oh, I like this. Keep doing that.
So. You want me to hit that way? Mm-hmm. Well, just try to hit it, not at us. That's all. I'm so scared of it. All right, here we go. Crap. Awesome, dude. I've... Oh, I get it. Oh, I suck at this game. Honestly, you know, I'm just frustrated because it's St. Patrick's Day. Our wives are out right now. We're sitting at home. We're stuck with the kids. Yeah. I mean, it's fun to play video games, but we can't do anything else. What should we do? In honor of St. Patrick's Day, I feel like we should do something. Let's watch a movie. We haven't done that in a while. Okay, what movie? Let's make it something scary, like Leprechaun. In oh, gosh. honor of uh, St. Patrick's Day. I haven't watched it in a while, but you know, I, I think I'm good. I think I've grown out of that. It's been a few years since I've you seen You okay, it. though? Yeah, I'm good. It's been a while since I've watched a scary movie, but I think I'm okay now. Um, I have it. I'll grab it right now, and uh, I'll give it a shot. I think I'll be good. Alright. <laughs> Little girls shouldn't look for four-leaf clovers. <laughs> Another morning we wake up with the pleasure of knowing that we're going to the swap meet. Finally we wake up and there's no wind. First, we need to go to McDonald's. Alright, so we are at McDonald's today. I have a sausage biscuit. Ricky, would you have hot cakes? Sausage. I hate pancakes, by the way. Um, well, we shouldn't be eating this crap because last night we were at an arcade all night and we ate a lot of pizza, uh, including Chris behind the camera. But um, that, hey, that's a reason you guys should join our Instagram too. We uh, keep we post pictures, stuff like that, so you guys can keep up with what we're doing. But um, today uh, we're going to uh, another local swap meet. It's super dark. We forgot about the time change last week, so it's pretty dark outside. We kind of are forced to wait. A Hopefully, bit. we'll be the only ones there, huh? Yeah, that'd be cool for the first ones there. Yeah. We need flashlights, but um, yeah, we're excited. Morning guys. So we're here at the swap meet and we are going to find the most rare games you have ever seen in your life. So be prepared yeah. and be ready. Because here we go. Let's ride. ask us a lot is what time we come and how we get so many games. Uh, if you look behind me, we always come to the swap meets when the vendors are setting up or earlier. So that's just a little tip. I know a lot of people ask, so I'd let you guys know. How much? Yeah, I want uh, 30 bucks for the hook. 30? Yeah. Whenever somebody tells you they are only selling something as a bundle, it never hurts to ask them a couple times if they'll sell things individually. Another key tip is to always be polite. You can ask whoever you want, but if you do it nicely, you're likely to do it. That's actually a good price, 30 bucks for all of it's really good. The only problem is I have most everything already. The only one I'm missing is this one. This one, this one, yeah. You wouldn't sell just one game or... One? Just because we have it already, you know, all the stuff, so I don't want it. Zero. Uh, one box. Oh, Robocop, you're just kidding. Robocop 
I've never played RoboCop 2. I've only uh, played part one. I don't know how, to... how much is uh, RoboCop 2? Five bucks. Five bucks? Five bucks? Five bucks. We're looking at Solar Jetman. Um, a Styanax, which we did get last time. Look at this. Whoever had this game wrote the exact same way on both games. It belonged to Bernard. <laughs> I like it. How much for uh, Rush? Three bucks? That's not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And this one, not too shaggy. <laughs> Get it? Scooby Doo, not too shaggy. Uh... Hi. Guys, a ton of, there's a ton of Atari games to the right. This girl right here, to the right of me, I've seen her before. She snakes up all the stuff in this area and uh, tries to, she's a reseller. So. The moment I just get done explaining to Chris that this lady takes everything like a little rat, she literally reaches in and takes the controllers out of my hand. Did you see it? Did you miss that? I'll slow it down for you guys. Look right under my left arm. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. How much is uh, the Nintendo games? That one's four. Four bucks? Yeah. Would you go three on it? Yeah. Cool. Guess who we ran into again? Yep, David Hester. Eh, he didn't have anything this time. This is like the perfect example of the type of game that's hard to clean off with, with the um, stickers, with the video stores on them. I mean, if you tear this off, it's probably gonna tear that off. So these one, this would be really hard to clean with writing, stickers on the label. Um, yeah, this is like worst nightmare for someone that's trying to clean games to make them look good, so. There are some things that you think you will never find out there in the wild, and when and if you do, you know you're going to pay full retail for them. I found something today, and I paid $3 for it. Chris and Ricky walked right by it. Sorry we didn't get the whole thing on film, but here it is. Okay, so for 3 bucks, I just got a Core Graphics 2 for 3 bucks, which is basically like a update, from my understanding, I don't know too much about Turbo graphics and all this, but an updated version. You have a part two, which is just smaller and a different color. No cords or anything, but for three bucks, the person I think thought it was like a car battery accessory, so I am like super, super excited about this. I never see these ever. How wonderful. Ever out in the wild. So this is amazing. I'm like so happy right now. The previous evening. What's up, you guys? It yeah. is game night for us. First game we got going on, we're just going to play some uh, Clay Fighter Tournament Edition. I have not played this in forever, have you? No. Okay, good. Then it'll be fair. This game, uh, I don't remember being that great, but uh, we're going to play it, have some fun, maybe play some other games. So. Maybe it got better over time. Let's see if it aged with goodness. Got better with age. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe it's like wine. It's like wine. I doubt this game's like wine. It's more like barf. All right, here we go. I don't think I've ever watched part of that thing. I think I just press start right up every time. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Icky because he's like Ricky. What about Boobzilla? All right, I am gonna go with Taffy. Oh, I flow. Oh, oh Icky like Ichabod Clay, right? Uh, whatever. Yeah, Ichabod Clay. Ooh. Oh, I'm Icky. What the? <laughs> I was wondering why it wasn't working. Oh, that was a cool double hit. You took my guy. Did he just say Phoenix? Like TJ Thunder or whatever from Killer Instinct? TJ Thunder. I don't. Is there power moves? Yeah. Look at me, watch. Or is it? No, I mean, is there like, you know, like something that shoots, like propels from your body? You play. Icky Bob Clay wins. I'm not lying, I actually like enjoyed that. I'm going with Boobzilla. Yeah? I'm going. Bonker. Who makes that noise? Is that your person? Yeah. Okay. Yes! Ooh, I threw something, look! Stop throwing your cream puffs at me, dude! Yeah! I hate you, Belga. Ha! <laughs> so disturbing. 
Uh, Wrong phone. Let's try another game. Okay. New game. Mecha Robot Golf. Here we come. Mm. Oh, look at this. Dude, he swings just like me. Well, look at that butt. No sound. Like the most <laughs> unepic intro. I want this ringtone. It's not bad. Oh god, that guy's ugly! <laughs> How wonderful! Ooh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's house. Dude, it is. Hi, Hillary Clinton. It's good to see you. Welcome to Hyper. It's my type of golf club, Hyper. Everyone in there is like, let's play golf! What is going on right now? New game! Select one from the menu. We just said new game, stupid! Hey, right? Okay, yeah, you do it again. <laughs> ten minutes later. No, seriously, ten freaking minutes later. I'm telling you, dude, I'm not doing anything. Press start instead. It's B! B's never! What's my yeah, name? douche and yeah and Wyatt. Douche, yeah, too good, yeah, douche, Wyatt. I, I, I'm good with douche and Wyatt. Douche. Oh God, I just did. I don't get it. There. <laughs> Again, ten minutes later. Seriously. Ding. Look at that mode seven. There's, there's a match. No advice is given. Alright, here we go. Watch this, Ricky. Oh, uh, I'm guessing. Dude, you completely missed it. Whoa! Oh. Mode 7 golf? Look at that shot! What? Oh, that wasn't me. That was the computer. <laughs> I like how the music comes in right after you hit. Dude, Dude I wish the golf was really like that. It's after, true. <laughs> after I hit, <laughs> it like gets me in the mood to go walk after the ball. Who's <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with this. Hey guys, I'm Aaron. I'm Ricky. And please stop telling us we look like Joe Pena and David Schwimmer <laughs> or Keanu Reeves. Everyone keeps telling us we look like those guys, so. I was thinking more Brad Pitt. Yeah, I'm like, I'm thinking I was like a Tom, actually, do people think Tom Cruise is still a good looking guy? I know my mom did back in the day, that and Mel Gibson, but he's crazy now. But I still think Braveheart's one of the best movies ever. It is. Braveheart, Patriot. Hey, they didn't make a video game for that, that's kind of crazy. I know, they should. Ah, they might botch it though. Sometimes you'd better not to mess with that stuff. Yeah, we uh, went to the swap meet. We actually went today. Normally, I edit the videos on Sunday when I come home a little bit to kind of piece it out. And then we normally do our pickup video like on a Wednesday night or Tuesday night. But um, we went today. So yeah. it's been kind of a long day. It's uh, like 8, eight o'clock at night now, but... Nice day. Yeah, it was a good day. Got some good stuff. And we'll let uh, Ricky do uh, L pickups. L pickups. That's so racist of me. Ricky. Yeah. I found your favorite game. Ooh, what is it? Speedy Gonzalez, you Mexican. <laughs> so for my first pickup, I got a green N64 controller. Yeah, I was thinking you should put like an orange like wig on top of it to make it look like Blanca. <laughs> I just thought of that. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's a uh, Nintendo 64 controllers are awesome to have yeah. to pick up in the different colors. Cause they always break too. That little joystick, the analog. Yeah, it's good though to have them different colors. As if I need more controllers. And then I got Spyro: Year of the Dragon. I've played them before, but. Not this one, so... Yeah, I, I, I haven't played that specific Spyro either, but the Spyros I have played have all been pretty fun, so... Yeah. And it's Black Label, so that's good. Spider-Man. Spider I pretty much got this for my kid. Uh, it's not too bad, it's actually... It's not bad. I think it's one of the more better Spider-Mans compared to, like... NES? Some of the, yeah, the NES one. <laughs> terrible. And then Rush 2. All the rushes, I think, are fun. Just blowing up a car. I think Rush is like <laughs> really cool. So I'm like, I think some of my favorite racing game series, like of the fast racing games, Mario Kart 64. Man. Yeah, I think uh, most people would say that was the best Mario Kart. Maybe not. I haven't played like the DS ones and stuff. The one on the Wii was pretty fun. I liked it. I know it was fun. Uh, it was good. I, but, but I think nostalgia. This one, yeah, this one started it up. Really nostalgia nicely. kicks in too hard, and sometimes nostalgia wins. To be honest, so yeah, that's just how it is. But that's it. Um. I'll start out with either Mylon's or Milan's Secret Castle. I haven't played it for a while, but I do remember playing it, and it is like, uh, 
It's pretty much a platformer. There's a little bit of like a money system. And um, I know your guy looks like he's wearing a nightcap and shoots bubbles. That's all I really remember. Um, by Hudson Soft. I know AVGN did a thing on this. So if you want to watch it in detail and get some laughs, uh, check it out. I enjoyed it though. I didn't not like it. Um, I actually got this as a gift for my birthday from uh, our buddy Mike, the reseller guy you guys know. Here Name's there. Mike. Name's Mike. <laughs> Adventure <laughs> Island 2. Very cool game. Hey, Hudson Soft also. I think I like this one better than the original Adventure Island. If you guys haven't played them, you should. They're really fun games. They're nothing fancy or anything, but they're just, they're really fun, the yeah. characters. I can't remember the guy's name. Master... Master... Shoot! <laughs> I feel so stupid right now, you guys. I just watched a thing on this too by Game Theory, and pretty much I think this game was like racist or something, and I'm not kidding. Master Higgins! That's why. Ooh. And he was like a master, like of slaves and stuff. I don't know. Watch Game Theory. <laughs> it, it made sense when I watched it, I swear. I kind of have to poop right now. Dino Crisis, or Dino, uh, Dino. Dino. Dino Crisis, um, by Capcom, the, um, I guess it's the same creators that did Resident Evil, and it is a survival horror, um, survival horror, <laughs> I said survivor horror, this is a survival horror, <laughs> no, I haven't played this in a really long time, so I don't remember too much about it, so I can't do it justice, I picked this up about a week ago and I forgot to show it, um, I got it in box, I got it from a buddy, this is Battletoads, and as you guys know, Battletoads is one of the funnest beat-em-ups, it is pretty fun, of all time, um, the hover, craft stage is supposedly the hardest ever. I don't think that's the hardest part of the game. I think there's like a worm level at the end that's way harder to me. It's a fantastic game. Your fists get big. The sound effects are really perfect. I like the big kick. Ooh. Yeah, the big kick's awesome. And when you pause, it's some pretty freaking rad music. <laughs> <laughs> It's techno unsa. Yeah, it's techno unsa unsa. <laughs> and uh, the last thing I got today was my favorite thing. I don't ever see these out in the wild at all. I don't. I wouldn't call them rare, but not a lot of people have them, and they're not easy to find. And to be honest, I don't know that much about them, so I called up a buddy and watched a couple YouTube things. But I got the uh, PC Engine Core Graphics 2, which is basically another model of the Turbo Graphics. I thought it was like the second model. My buddy said it might be the third. I guess the second one might have blue writing, but um. It's basically a Turbo Graphics 16. You play Hue cards. I guess you can unplug the back to put like a CD port, kind of like a Sega CD, but for Turbo Graphics. So That's cool. Yeah, I don't see these ever. And the guy that sold it, it was just sitting on the end of the table, and Ricky walked right by it, and so did Chris. That's why we didn't get it on footage. I think Chris got it right after I bought it. But I lifted it up to the guy, and my hands started shaking because I'm like, oh my gosh, I never find really that much unusual things or uncommon. So I lifted it up, and I said, how much for this? And he said, oh, for the router? And I was like, router? But I was like, yeah, the router, this old crappy router. And he's like, three dollars. And I'm like, I guess I can do that. So it was pretty cool. That was cool. Yeah, man. so this is really cool to have you guys. I didn't get any cables with it, but I have a friend who actually said that he'll get me some cables for free. So it's really awesome. So I'm very excited to play this. That is all we got. It is St. Patrick's today. And you can tell being two dads, we're partying hardcore. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I actually just found out um, the sex of my baby. We just had a party. Me and my wife, actually a buddy, set it up for us where we open a box and balloons fly out whatever color and uh, the balloons came out pink. So I'm having another little girl. So two girls, a boy, and a boy in my family. So I'm going to be over outnumbered by girls now. It's going to be wild. So um, as always, like the videos. You guys always do that. and yeah. makes us so happy to see you guys. It really does. I seriously think we have like a really cool community of people that follow us or fans, as you could say. I don't like they to say cool. that. But honestly, like you guys are all so cool. I've never, like one out of every like 300 comments is like maybe something negative. And I think <laughs> that's really rare in YouTube because a lot of times you look at feeds and comment sections and they're pretty nasty. Yeah. People can get wild. So we're very thankful. So keep commenting, you guys. Say nice things. Talk about whatever. Talk to other people. I've met so many good people. I mean, I have like friends now in the community, seriously. And speaking of that, join Instagram, join Facebook, join Twitter. It really is a good way for me to communicate with you guys. But so do that. Um, subscribe if you haven't. If this is your first time watching, welcome. And we do videos every single week, as we always say. Pursuit videos, top 10 lists, reviews. What else do we do? We did the Harlem Shake in one of our videos. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We looked freaking retarded. But yeah, it was awesome. I'm proud of it. It was fun. It's one of my finer moments in my life. <laughs> That's it. So you guys, until then, have a good day. And um, I hope you guys enjoy the videos. If not... Go watch another video. No, I'm just no, kidding. No, don't. Stay here. <laughs> Please stay here. Please like the videos. No, that's it. All right. Adios, amigos.
just laughing and I'm like, are you still scared of movies? Uh, Scary movies? <laughs> <laughs> Now turn back. <laughs> that will actually hurt my leg doing that. My nail look right into my knee. Dude, oh, that's gosh. the worst. That's oh, one of the worst pains. I went dude. like this right into it. Damn. <laughs> oh, fudge muffins. It really hurt. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, for this week's video, we need a really good skit. Something different, something we haven't done before, something that people will enjoy, something that's funny. Something exciting. Something exciting. People people are starting to like our skit, so we feel, I feel like we need a really good one this week. Ricky, any ideas? I can shoot you. You've already done that, stupid. Chris, any ideas? Ricky can steal your games, or you can I've already done game. that! Side. You guys submit ideas for a skit for the next NES Pursuit video. Two rules apply. It has to be something we can physically do, and it has to be something we can do in around a minute. So you guys decide the next one, leave it in the comments below, and we'll pick. Good luck. What's up, you guys? Let me be honest right now. I'm like super excited. We're gonna go to some game stores, maybe some Goodwills or something. Yeah. We haven't, I haven't been in the swap meet in like two weeks, and for me, that's insanity. So I'm dying. I'm excited. I haven't been in like two weeks. For me, like I said, that's a freaking long time, and I'm having like game withdrawals. We're going to pick up Chris, our cameraman, right now. He was nice enough to go with us on a weeknight. It is a weeknight. <laughs> we both worked today. We work tomorrow, and uh, yeah, doggies. Let's get us some so, games. Let's get us some games. What is it about retro game hunting that I find so exciting? Is it that I might find a game from my childhood that I love so dearly and it will bring back all those memories I had of playing it? Or could it be that today could possibly be the day that we find that rare game that we've always been looking for? Maybe I'll never be able to put my finger on it, but all I do know is I love retro game hunting. Bang, bang. Right. What? What's up? Right. Oh yeah. Ricky the umpire. Did you know Ricky's like umpiring now, Chris? No. He's, he's umpiring a Ricky his kid his kid's games. Also really? speaking of that, Gabriel broke his arm. I saw he that. Ricky, arm. do you have credentials to be an umpire? No. <laughs> yeah, good job, Ricky. You should have seen Ricky calling all the wrong calls last night. <laughs> oh! Oh wait! Save! You're, you're safe! Oh well, uh, uh, yeah. Touchdown. Hey, what am I supposed to do? The kid caught the ball and then he dropped it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> There it is. There it is. All of its glory. There's like nobody here. That's good for us. After our fun and entertaining journey, we're finally here at Fat Collectibles. And this place is awesome. Action figures actually have, or it's Ricky's, this uh, April O'Neil one in the back of my game room. If you can see it, but it's pretty cool. I didn't know it was like twenty-five dollars for it. But I had the shredder too. They have some more retro ones. Look at there. Look Dude, at those the are old awesome. April and the Ace Duck. That's really cool, man. I used to think Ace Duck was Howard the Duck. <laughs> Dude, he looks like Howard the Duck. Dude, that's what I thought that's it a good was. Good call, man. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have, Ricky? The only Ninja Turtles game I don't have on the NES. Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. I just got General Chaos a box. Oh, Joe Montana Sports Talk Football, Vintage. You want me to pick it up for you, Vintage? I think I might I might pick up this Xevious uh, for Nintendo. It's a Bandai game. 
Um, and it is in really, really, really good condition. Like the label's like super mint. And it's fun. Okay, look, look at it the games. It is fun. Look at the games down here. Final Fight 2. <gasps> Final Fantasy 3. We ended up hanging out at this store a lot longer than we thought. We were playing video games for a long time, we were looking at a lot of toys, and there were so many video games to just stare at even if we knew we weren't going to buy them all. This place, honestly, was truly amazing. So the games I decided to get, I haven't paid for yet, is Xevious and Alpha Mission. Pretty excited, they're both super clean. I haven't played Alpha Mission though, so it's a toss up. I know it's around five bucks for normal price, but it's a toss up, but I think it'll be good. I'll take it for you. Are you still going to browse around? Yeah. Oh, right. Are you getting that? Yeah. Nice. It's uh, interesting. I wouldn't call it fun, but it's good to have. So actually, some people like it. I have the box for it. Oh, if you have the box for it, yeah. I will complete it. So, I don't know. I'm ready here. I'm not going to lie. Store, a, the store is really cool. It's really clean. No, we're not getting paid to say this, but <laughs> the guy that works here too is honestly probably one of the nicest guys like yeah, he's cool. I've ever met. Like, a, not even at a store, just like a guy in general. And he's like super personable and like wants to talk to us and wants us to be back here and have fun with them. So I don't Pretty know. Cool. I think they said they have like game tournaments too once in a while. I heard that last time. So it'd be sick if we had a tournament here, but it'd be embarrassing for Ricky because I would kick the crap out of him. Sorry. Yeah, right. All right, we're gonna go. Um, Ricky has a trade to do now. He's gonna trade like Super Mario World for some game or something. So. We're gonna head over there. Yeah. Uh, it's Ricky, the guy that's gonna trade you the game. Hey, uh, where are you at? Uh, are you ready? Are you ready to meet? So the guy that Ricky was gonna do the trade with had some things come up. So we gotta kill some time. I kinda, no joke. I wanna eat something crappy, but I've been eating so good this week. But I'm debating like getting a shake or something. Are you? Would you guys be down, Chris? I'm down. You want me to get you a shake? Get me. Oh, got it! Oh, such a good one, Ricky! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Why don't you text him real quick if we can film? Or call him. I'll call him. If he says no, that's fine. We just need an answer. Just say we run a show, we'll give you a card. So the guy ended up saying that he wasn't 100% comfortable with us filming at his house. So after that we went our separate ways and went to bed. But come Saturday morning, you guys know what time it is, it's time for us to head out to the swap meet. Alright, today we are at another swap meet and we are walking and talking because we have to help a friend move in like an hour and a half, two hours. We're probably going to be a little late though on purpose yeah. to be honest. But so we got to kind of... And if you're watching this, we're not going to be late. Yeah, <laughs> Andy's not watching. He doesn't watch our show. Chris, you're gonna hit by a car, so we'll stop right now. So let's do this, you guys. How much are the games? Come on, play with. than I am. Five bucks for me for a used game. I'm that cheap. I'm like a three dollar guy or else I'm not really that interested unless it's a good title. So over it. Alright guys so Chris just showed me this. Pretty awesome for a buck. Just a Game Boy pack but for a buck. Anything on this table is a dollar. So Ricky. Even this is a dollar. That's a good one right there. Aaron doesn't do perky. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I, don't I really don't. I don't even get it. <laughs> Or this game, King of Fighters. This is like one of Ricky's I got it. games that he loves. I actually have both of those. These are the kind of games Ricky loves. I like them too. The Dreamcast? He's on the phone right now. You know which for the games? He's a trade. Ten for each. Ten each game? Sí. Did he say how much for the game? Sí, la palatita, de, de la palatita. There's a game on the Super Nintendo Ricky's been looking for for quite some time. It's not too rare, and it's not too expensive, but we never see it out here in the wild. 
And today, Ricky finally spots it. It may be a reseller, but is he expensive? I don't know, dude. It seems kind of worth it, I guess. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, look at the label. That's what's really going to matter. Is it faded or anything? Uh, or? You think I can see it real quick? All right. Can I ch check it out and see if it's damaged or not? The uh, fun with uh, letters? Moments later. Let's see? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not like a common game. I mean, 10 is, I'd say, reasonable. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'd say it's like a reasonable price All right. for it. Nicole, I didn't spend 10 on this. There you go. Fun with letters. That's uh, uncommon. Good job. Thank you. Got her before I did. He's been smoking me all day. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I have the mouse already. Yeah. Yes. E.T. <laughs> I picked that up. No, it's the worst game ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Buried in the Arizona desert. They're yeah, making, they're making, they're making a video about it. Yeah, yeah, it's like her, the, the uh, James, the video nerd. Yeah, yeah. About that. Yeah. yeah. He, That's he, what I'm saying. There's no gems in there. I, I actually sell sell uh, games online. Oh, nice. No. Do you collect it all too? Or? Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. like 800 Nintendo games. Yeah, we're in the same. It's not too often when you're out game hunting in the wild that you find people that know about the YouTube community and the things that are going on in the YouTube world of gaming. We actually spent quite some time talking to this guy and just hanging out with him and talking about video games and nostalgia. This is the kind of reseller that we like. Here's the box for it. Take it. Yeah. There might be another one in there, but there's oh, actually oh, one in there. Oh, you can have it. Are you sure? I, I, he's giving me ten. See, for this that. is a cool guy. He's right giving here. me ten for that, and I would have taken five. So. You can oh have it. man, <laughs> this is a nice guy right here. Yeah, this guy's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, man. So I swear we're at a different swap meet than last time, and no matter where we go. No matter what place we go, Chris turn around and show him who we see again. Again. It never stops, it never changes. Dave Hester lives and he follows us. Uh, he needs to start like hooking us up for all this. Because we see him every freaking week. He should know us by now. I don't see one football in this thing. You see Echo. Which um, most people remember liking and say they liked, but I never got it. I thought it was always like the dumbest of all games. To be it's honest. Echo in Mexico. Echo in Mexico. Every Ricky has to Mexicanize everything. Freaking I'm sorry, Ricky. guys. Echo. Honestly, you want some bongos with that, Ricky? Babalu! Babalu! <laughs> remember that Game Boy from the last episode? Well, I found the better thing right here, though. SpongeBob. Yeah, there was a Game Boy Advance in the last episode that we didn't comment on and it was in the Spongebob version which I guess is more rare. We don't really know anything about it but just so everybody knows that guy has everything priced out the way they should be so even if we did ask we know it wouldn't have been an amazing deal but sorry we didn't comment on it. I won't mention it. For those of you that asked, thank you for asking though. Thank you for watching. If you guys ever catch us missing something let us know. Um, it's hard when you have a lot of things going on. You gotta ask permission to take pictures or... May I please take pictures? Uh, what do you take a picture of? Of the pogo stick? Yeah, you're good to go. Oh, I was like, you're I'll say, Ray, how many jumps do you need to get on? Three. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, this one actually works. I almost all of Yeah. Ricky's better than me. Last time I did it, I got like two yeah. jumps on it. So, for no reason at all, this guy just walks over and hands me some little fireworks. No, they're not illegal or anything. But hey, if it's free, it's for me. Alright, guys. We got skate or die, Kyle, whatever that is, Aaron. All right, Ricky's taking too long. Birthday blowout. I have Roger Rabbit. The the good Mario Bros. Wall Street Kid, one of the worst games ever. <laughs> already asking individual prices. She pulled the Mario and said it's not for sale. I don't get that. It was sitting here. It's the only one I wanted. I just put these as distractions. 
Whenever you find an uncommon game or a rare game or a game that's a little more pricey, it's usually a good idea to hold it up with a couple distraction cards. What a distraction card is, is it's cards that you use to distract the eyes of the person that's selling to the other games and not the expensive one. Oh, and right after, she tried to sell Ricky Wii Sports Resort for $35. Oh, that's kind of cool. You know what I think people are forgetting and it's kind of getting annoying sometimes that people forget that we're at a swami. We're not at a store. This is stuff that's been sitting in the sun, weather warped. This is a swami. It's frustrating sometimes when everyone thinks we're at a freaking store. I'm grumpy. I'm grumpy that you left the camera running for seven minutes. <laughs> So I'm looking at Vegas Dream, which I don't have. And I was like, oh dang, the condition's really good of the plastic. I mean, of the label, but look at Dun -dun -dun. Broken. But I don't know if it still plays, the pins are hot. How much is the game? Those are five dollars. Aww. No use. Even if it was three, I wouldn't really care to get it for three with the busted cartridge. So, otherwise, these games have been here though for a while. So he's had them for a while, and um, which means obviously, if you come back every week and you see the same games, then that means they're not priced very well because obviously people come here and pass them up all the time. So, go for the gold. Nice, some old pins. Chris is like an old school, uh, kind of like a. Maybe you'd say like World War era type collector Americana. stuff. Americana stuff. He's into all that stuff, so. Occasionally I like to take the camera and let him uh, have some looks. He does all this cameraing for free, so he deserves it. Today we didn't find anything too rare or too expensive or too collectible, but honestly it's one of the funnest times I've had in a while. There's really not many things much more fun than hanging out with friends and looking for retro games. Have you seen one of these? No. Cover yours, Ricky. Yeah, oh, oh. I hurt my hand a little, honestly. Oh, that was loud. Look at that. Nice. That's what you want. Yeah. Now watch me eat it. Oh. Did you really do it? I it really looked like it. Because I did. I'm serious. Shut your mouth. I swear. Aww, oh, man. Uh, it just went inside. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And uh, we're here to do our pickups now. I'm not gonna lie, I had a freaking fun time um, getting our pickups this week because it was like two weeks for me that I didn't go. And that's a long time for me. I was really like feeling the need to get games, so whatever. But uh, Ricky, start as always, mister. First game I got was the early years fun with letters. Yeah. Mario, early years, sorry. That's uncommon <laughs> too, Ricky. That's yeah. good. It was all right. It's, I, not, I, I, it's not fun. It's honestly. not fun I'm at all. sorry. Ooh, I wanna click this guy. Ricky, are you having fun? It's excellent. It's a good game to get though. I would have got it if Ricky didn't. He beat me to the punch on that one. So yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm a little upset by that. And then I got an Atari game, ET, because I don't have it. And if you don't have one, you should get one. Yeah. Supposedly Awful. the worst game ever. Supposedly. It was pretty bad. I gotta admit, just collecting Rhesus and then falling in. Do you I remember this game falling yes. in the hole? I'd still say there's worse games though. Yeah. Than that. That is true. It's gotten a bad rap, mostly because of ABGN, but. He's, yeah, he's making a movie on it now, so good for him, so that's awesome. And then Sword of Vermilion, I already had it, but it was boxed, so why not? I've never played it. It's RPG, like, action. It's no Final Fantasy, but it's okay. What RPG <laughs> is Final <laughs> Fantasy, really, if you think about it, to be honest, so. And then I traded a game, actually. Well, we couldn't even get footage. Yeah, the guy didn't let us film. I think I showed him the video, so. So I traded him Super Mario World for uh, Snowboard Kids Part 1. Which is awesome. Yeah. That's, I think, one of the better uh, snowboarding games on the N64, and honestly, one of the better snowboarding games that I've ever played. I thought good deal. It's, so it's super fun. I got Metroid Prime. Really fun game, actually, for a Metroid. Well, no, they're all fun. No, that's awesome. It was the but, first Metroid to, like, not do the side-scrolling. and Yeah, it was, it like, was first FPS, person so. shooter. Like, oh, it, was it was awesome. Fun. I think when it first came out, people don't like it that much, but now I hear basically everybody likes it, including me. I love it. I, I liked it when it first came out, too, so. It's it's yeah. awesome. Good job, Samus. Ricky's thumbs up for that one. <laughs> Ricky, 
Stop eating a freaking churro. You're so Mexican. <laughs> Ricky's thumbs up. Chris is behind the camera right now, by the way, too, smiling, so it's kind of hard to be serious. I can say whatever well, I want to I people. say stuff like that. People trust me. Yeah. People don't trust your ugly mug. Hey. Hey. And then my last game I got, we used to always play this game. Yeah. It is fun. If you don't have this for multiplayer, sell damage. Yeah, GameCube. <laughs> yeah, GameCube. It's really fun. It's like Twisted Metal, but with little kids. You know, kid graphics, cell shaded. Twisted Maybe that's Metal why it's called Mario Kart. Uh, yeah. The battle mode. I think that's why it's called cell damage, because of the cell shading and all that stuff. So It's fun. Yeah, it's very good. Shut up. <laughs> now for Mr. Me. Lion King on the Genesis. Um, most people play this. It's pretty basic, but it's pretty fun. The Disney games and all of them around the 16-bit, 8-bit era were all pretty good, so it's good. Spot goes to Hollywood on the Genesis, which is like an isometric view. It's okay. The one on Super Nintendo is better. Um, the one on NES is like the worst one ever. So, but I would say out of those three, this is probably like second best Super Nintendo one being first. Xevious by Bandai. Um, you know, I thought it was better when I picked it up. And it wasn't like I remembered. <laughs> the music sucked. The background graphics had like no shading or anything or depth. It was just like solid green or solid blue. But um, it was okay. I'm glad I got it. I didn't have it and the condition is like pretty perfect. Now this one I didn't play when I got it. Alpha Mission by SNK. But when I played it when I got home, it was way better than Xevious. It's also a shooter. The graphics are better. There's power-ups and... Uh, I actually really enjoyed it. I, I recommend it, especially if you can get it for like five bucks, which is what I got this for. Ooh. RBI Baseball 2, it's a Tengen game. This is really good condition. It's pretty fun. It's nothing amazing, but I wanted it because it was in super good condition. And I got it for a good price. It's actually, when rare. I bought it, I saw the little kid tap his mom. He's like, Mom, that was expensive. Why'd you sell it for $3? <laughs> so it was kind of funny. But I, I enjoy it. Then the last thing I got, which I got for free, because I bought one, and then I asked the guy, I saw another one in the case, like, you can just have it. There's the box for it. Take it. There might be another one in there, but there's actually I'll one in there. It. Oh, so you can have it. Are you sure? I, I He's giving me. 10 See, this that. is a cool guy. Right. And it's Taz, Escape from Mars on the Genesis. It's really fun, actually. I put it in. It's a side scroller platformer. You spin, obviously, but it's kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog. There's a lot of areas that you like. You know, hold the spin button and you go up and down and all around. About to shut up. Stupid Chris is making faces behind the camera. <laughs> um, it's a good game. I would definitely recommend it. And it says grrr on that one. It's great. It's great. But that's it. We don't have anything else. All we can ever say after this is the same thing we always say. Like the videos. Please do. <laughs> this takes a lot of time. We love doing it, as we always say. But keep liking them. Keep commenting. Hey, if you guys noticed, uh, Ricky commented on the last Pursuit video. Weird. So it might be him commenting most of the time. I'll still be commenting a lot. And Chris is actually going to be commenting too here and there. He doesn't like me to say that because I don't want to hold him to it. <laughs> But here and there he will be, just kind of things, if you guys mention anything about cameras or anything, whatever. And, um, yeah, and, uh, subscribe. Please do that. We yeah. have videos every week, whether it's a Pursuit video or not. It's going to be something. Game Straight 1, we post videos on Screw Attack now. So keep in touch with us as much as you guys can. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We don't do Tumblr. I don't even know what you do on Tumblr. Somebody Tumblr? tell me what you do on Tumblr. I think it's a thing. It's a social media, but I don't know. But whatever. That's it, and have a nice day. Dang it, I missed! Got him that time! Ready? Action. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Darn you, Dave Hester. Ricky. Yep. Look at my pee stains on my pants. Right. Ryu. I like Actually, that. I call him Ryu too. I know everyone's like Ryu. Just like Ninja Gaiden. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a fraud. I say Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> I've, always, I've always said Ninja Gaiden. He's not even gonna know PlayStation 7 by the time he plays the <laughs> Which, by the way, PlayStation needs to like figure out new names. PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, that's getting weak. Xbox 360, 720, 1080. Dumb. I say dumb. They need to go with like PlayStation Dodongo or something. Dodongo? <laughs> I think of Dodongo out of all things.
What's better than coming home from a long day at work, knowing that you're going to go hang out with your best friend in the whole wide world and do your show with him? Boy, I'm excited. What's up guys, I'm Chris and I'm Ricky and we're, we're at your liberty. So today we went to a couple of Goodwill stores, found, you know, a couple Turbo Graphic 16s. And no biggie. Neo, a couple Neo Geos, but it's no, not, you know, it's no big deal. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Uh, Aaron, dude, Don't, it's not Aaron, what it seems. It's, it's seriously. We're, dude, honestly, this was just as a joke. It's, Come not here, that, it's not that we don't love you. Yeah. This morning when Ricky and Chris got to my house, we were all super excited. We were like little kids going to a candy store. I don't know what it is about today, but we're excited as can be at 5.30 in the morning. Let's see how the day plays out. Good morning again, you guys. It is another Sunday morning for us, and we are at another swap meet, and uh, this is never going to end. So, um, Ricky, you looking for anything in particular? Probably wild guns still. Ricky's still looking for wild guns. High hopes, but you never know. Chris? Chris? No, nothing, nothing. Pokemon. And I'm looking for anything <laughs> Nintendo as always, guys. So here we go again. Let's go. You know what I know for new, Chris? Is why... <clears throat> they were made with a handle, like a carrying case. I get it, but I don't, I don't. I never thought of it as like an accessory, like carrying it around to a friend's house, or for fashion reasons. Ricky and his bongos again. Babaloo. Babaloo. Nothing, dude. We're uh, coming up uh, pretty dry this morning. We've been here for like 20 minutes already, and I've seen nothing except those two game cubes. So we're gonna keep trying. This, this will. Uh, you can have more in your collection. Oh, sweet. A really cool guy on YouTube actually sent me some of these like this, a uh, guy named Sean. So uh, these are cool, I have some in my game room. So I don't need them because of uh, Sean. I think you say like the guy Siamo or something. You know who you are, you're watching. I don't know. I got the three. No, I don't. Michelangelo. Uh, oh, oh yeah, here's a Mikey right here. Yes, the complete set. Um, sports, a lot of sports. Sneaking. Completionist just did a thing on this. Um, that one, Video Gamer. It's terrible. This is good. I've talked about it a hundred times. It is very good. It took skill to be good at that game, and I was good at it. But then again, I'm good at every game. You get those shoes, they're really totally easy. Those are freaking Dutch shoes, dude. Those are Dutch killers right there. The Dutch. Warning. Neither Aaron nor Ricky played Pokemon much as children, so they don't know that much about it. And no, they don't dislike Pokemon in any way. We're looking at a crab hammer, Chris. Uh, he has 10x, uh, 40. His retreat cost is 3 stars. I don't play Pokemon, dude. Shut up, dude. Don't freaking lie to me. Louis Armstrong's here. I don't know anything about Pokemon. I, I don't. I'm sorry. Aaron, I don't it's know not Louis Armstrong. It's all. Luis. Luis Armstrong. <laughs> Ricky, stop Mexicanizing everything. This guy, we're going to send him back to Mexico. It's okay. No, it's send not. Send me to Cabo or like something like that. A Pac-Man plug and play. these much. I know like uh, yeah, Luigi Freakout cool. does, Tyler, and his dad Terry. Come back at you. But um, these are pretty cool. I haven't really checked them out lately, but um, I've been hearing a lot of good things about them. So, I don't know. Let's see how much he wants for just for that. How much is this? That one is 35. This is for Carol, okay? 35 seems like a lot. 
I don't know if it is, because I don't collect these. That seems like a freaking lot. I would think this is like, what, five, ten bucks, maybe? That's my guess. I'm sure all of you at this point have heard the sad news about LucasArts, but in case you missed it, here's a little bit of the info. Star Wars Jedi Fighter by LucasArts, and I'm sure most of you guys know by now, um, Disney that bought, uh, you know, Star Wars, um, laid off or shut down basically all of LucasArts. So as of now, all the games coming up have been canceled, and uh, that's crazy. Hopefully they keep it going though, because LucasArts has made tons and tons and tons of good Star Wars games, so it's crazy, it's sad. I know a lot of people have been pissed, I'm pretty pissed about it too, so they made great games, so rest in peace, LucasArts. Rest in peace. Aaron can't hold his bladder, so we have to we have to stop the hunting in order to skate. What trick am I doing right now? I'm goofy with it. Yes. Where's the restroom? My bladder's gonna blow. You're wasting precious game hunting. I know, we only, we only had like 30 minutes until we found nothing. Nothing, we haven't bought anything. Not one thing. So I looked around for a bathroom for a really long time. I was starting to get desperate. I couldn't find one for anything. I kind of had to do what I had to do. So the fountains weren't helping how bad I had to go to the bathroom. and. I went to the bathroom, but let's just say it wasn't in a restroom, so you're going to have to use your imagination. And I almost slept on my own pee when I was walking away, so let's just say that. <laughs> NCAA basketball and Stanley Cup. Half-Life. Story being that he used to play this for obsessed hours and hours, and I would go to a place called a uh, Cyberdeck. Cyberdeck, and it was um, like a computer place, and we would spend like 50 bucks every freaking week there, just uh, playing it forever. They got some goodies, Robotech, Fable. After talking to the seller for quite a while, he had quite a few good games and we were able to talk him down to some really good prices. After all that talking and all that time we spent right before we purchased the games, we opened up the cases, and all the games were scratched beyond playability. That can be really frustrating. I highly recommend opening the cases right away before you even start dealing. You might get this one, Aaron. What? What is it? Oh, nice. White Wisdom Tree? Yeah. King of Kings. Wisdom Tree, by the way, it's funny because they're like a religious company and they're like one of the companies that was putting out games like illegally. So it's pretty interesting that they were doing that. But yeah, you don't come by these all the time. So pretty cool. This is the difference. Yeah, no, it's good. It's, good. it's a cool part too. Is that the NES holder? Yeah, but the lock's kind of jacked Ten bucks and you get all the Really? Yeah. This game was a big deception. There was nothing about fighting. Bro. Yeah. Yes. The Trevinos, there was no fighting in there. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but it is SNK. Technically, I've caught Ricky slipping before, but I've never actually done it to him on purpose. Am I a bad friend, or am I just somebody who really wanted a game he's been looking for for a really long time? Are you getting this? Oh yeah, I forgot. Should I? No. Yeah. I'll get it. Give me that. Oh. 
Sorry. I'll buy it because he just broke it. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Aaron. Uh, monster party. This game's awesome, right? It's um a party with monsters. Literally, that's what it is. The, all the different I'm good. old school monster, like you know, Dracula, Medusa, and all that crap. It, not it, the thing. Pretty cool. Aaron's like, yeah, just let him have it. Yep. So my gut instincts that I had this morning about finding something extremely rare or expensive might have been wrong, but like I always tell all of you, it's not always about the games, it's about the fun times you have and the memories you make looking for these retro games. Oh, we forgot to Instagram a picture. Dang it. Oh well, I can Instagram one right now. That's cool. How am I going to take a picture of us? You, oh, should, wait. you should let me do it. I got reversal. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> Chris, get it into the footage. <laughs> Cause it's too cold. Wait, stay there, Chris. Make sure you see your face. <laughs> I'm on Instagram that joint. Instagram that joint. Instagram that joint. What's up, everybody? I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And I'm Chris. All right, guys, so we went to a swap meet this weekend as usual. I don't know what else I put in the video because I haven't edited any of the video yet. <laughs> I just kind of put the pieces together. Also, another thing, again, you guys, is Ricky was doing a lot of the commenting back to you guys, so it's really cool. It's really fun for me to look at you yeah, guys. Yeah, it's cool. I, I like commenting. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, he said awesome. he hates most of you guys, but not all you guys, so that's cool. <laughs> so it's been fun, no, but And Chris, too, uh, behind the camera again. He's here again. Say hi, Chris. Hi, guys. Ricky could start, as always, he does a better job than I do. Pretty much one of the only things we picked up. Yeah, we didn't get much, guys. I picked up this Nintendo Sweet uh, box, but it came with uh, some games. What did he charge you, 15 bucks? 10. 10 bucks, he got this, the cool original Nintendo case with what? Uh, tennis, world class, track meet, anticipation, fighting golf, rip. No, you're doing it wrong. You gotta put your hands a little, like, like this. Don't tell me how to golf. Shut up! Mission Impossible. Buff. Mission Impossible, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think when you die in that game, it's literally like... Like some guys scream, I think it is. Huh? Or Impossible Mission, it's one of the two. King of Kings, The Early Years. That's cool, it's not... It was awesome. It's not often you find these. I don't think yeah. the games are that bad. I know ABGN did like a whole thing on those type of games, on um, Wisdom Tree games and all that that are which were illegally made, I guess, but <laughs> that's cool. You don't find them often. I've never seen that out there in the wild, so. Yeah, so it was cool. Yeah, very good job on that, Ricky. And then this one didn't come from the swap meet, but I've been wanting this game so bad. Honestly, I'll give it a thumbs up before I even say anything. Bucky O'Hare. Wow. Yeah. Awesome game. That, that's all I can say. Konami? Yes. Yeah, Konami. Yeah, Bucky O'Hare. Awesome. If you guys have seen our top 10 NES games, that was in there as like, I think number six. Number six. That game's awesome. You get to be different characters. Yeah. You have crazy, crazy platforming, uh, crazy sides going, crazy music. It's it's really hard too, <laughs> but it's it's worth it. It's an amazing game. It kind of plays like a Mega Man game. Don't try to compare it to Mega Man. I actually wish I knew. I didn't know about this when I was a kid, but I had all the toys, so it kind of bummed me out when I... I say a very good job on that one, Ricky. Thank you. Um, my turn. I did not get much at all, you guys, but I got a couple little things. Solomon's Key. I don't know if you guys ever played this. I it's pretty think it's, fun. It's pretty fun. Yeah. It's like uh, kind of like puzzles and stuff like that. But it's cool. I really liked it. I didn't know what it was. I did not play this when I was a kid. And we just recently played it together. It was cool. It was fun. Karnov. Oh, oh it's that. that. By Data East. Um, also, if you guys have seen, I did a Bad Dudes review a while ago. And uh, this was like an arcade game also. It's a side scroller. It's fun. And um, he made an appearance. Karnov did in Bad Dudes. as like the first level <laughs> boss. Karnov and Karnov. Karnov and Bad Dudes. Karnov and Karnov. Karnov and Bad Dudes. This one I really like, Bandai. Um, it's Monster Party. It's kind of like a cult classic now. Yeah, you get to be like a, a, a couple different monsters and the, the end bosses always say something like extremely weird when you get to them. I'm sure I'll find some footage and show you guys while I'm talking right now. <laughs> but um, I remember it just being like really weird off the wall. I know John Tron did a whole crazy review where with the shrimp and the tempuras and all that you, you fight. It's a pretty whack game, but um, it's good. I'd say definitely a game to get and I kind of jumped ahead of Ricky if you guys saw the footage. I it's okay. Pretty much I got this. Cheated him out. Yeah, he beat him out. Oh, this I got today at work. 
Uh, a friend of mine actually brought this for me. I'm just going to show it just because that was cool. Then. I mean, he brought it for me. I do have a lot of Nintendo games and Super Nintendo games on my Wii. And this is to play, you know, games, the classic controller. My buddy named Steven, he comments in these videos and watches them. So thank you, Steven. I appreciate that. That's all we got, right, Ricky? Rick, uh, Chris, anything to say back there? Chris thinks he's so cool right now. You guys, if you could see him, he's literally like this. He thinks he's like AC Slater back there, but really, he looks like he's the Duck Dynasty. That's it. Like the video as always. You guys are awesome with that. We love it. All our videos are getting like 300 likes or something now, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, keep subscribing. You guys do that for sure. I don't know if you guys are telling people or what, um, because yeah, we get shoot. It's going fast, you guys. Every day we look at this thing, and every week it seems like there's a hundred new people subscribed. So. Yeah, honestly, thank you for whoever. We can't thank you guys, guys that are doing for that. what you guys are doing out there. But you guys are awesome. Comment in the videos. You guys can talk to me, talk to Chris if you have any questions, talk to Ricky. Kind of get the whole crew. We like to really be involved with you guys. We, we know, as we know, as you know. Ah, yes, the whole social media crap. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I won't do Tumblr because I don't care about it. I don't know what it is. Someone said you tumble on Tumblr. I'm like, that's pretty much the only advice I got from it. So that's it, you guys. Um, enjoy. Hope you enjoyed the videos. And yeah. we'll see you guys next week. I don't know what the video is going to be next week. But um, we'll see you then. And have a good day. And Aaron and Ricky, coming at you. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, coming at you. Hey, everybody. Luigi Freak Out 1, 2, 3. Come back at you. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say that right now. I might as well. Luigi Freak Out 1, 2, 3. If you guys don't watch that guy or don't know who he is, check out this guy. It's Tyler. He's a 12-year-old kid with his dad, Terry. <laughs> We've been talking to them a lot lately. They've become like super good friends with us, texting them stupid pictures and stupid funny things, talking about games. Actually, my phone vibrated about 20 seconds ago and that was Tyler texting me. So, <laughs> you guys, thank you for the cool channel. Check them out if you guys haven't. I'll yeah. put a link in the description below. That wasn't even planned, but it's done now. Thanks, Ricky, for bringing it up. Oh. Bye, guys. I don't think it filmed. What? <laughs> Are you serious? <gasps> it's not filming. Yeah, it is. <laughs> stupid Chris, you idiot. You scared the crap out of me. What's up, guys? I'm Chris. And I'm Ricky. And, and we're at your library. Stupid! Okay, Chris. Hey, it's Pursuit. Okay. Alright, go ahead. Okay. Good, right? okay. What's up, guys? I'm Chris. And I'm Ricky. And, and we're, we're at your liberty. <laughs> you guys, come on! <laughs> Dear God, that literally hurt. Oh, darn it! I feel like I thought I broke the drywall. <laughs> I really got sad. And I walk up, it's not what it seems. <laughs> yeah, I got kind of sad thinking about it. Yeah. Don't uh, try to compare it to Mega Man. I burped over you talking. <laughs> Alright, wait, Woo! go ahead. Oh, that thing sw swung open. That big light. This one? Yeah. The white no, just, just, yeah, lights. Just the light. Not the whole extension cord. Just Going the cord. through my mind. It's the huh? big one coming down. This one. No. What? The big one coming down, look up. Oh, that one? Silly rascal. Here's Aaron getting mad.